Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 65. I am Ryan, the GM, and it's the 24th of August, 2020. Here are the players. What is all that? Oh, yes. Hello, I'm first now. Uh -huh. I'm Alex, and I play Weird, the Android Mechanic. Hello, I am Colin. I play Lyco the Quint. <laughs> you said Lyco the Quint. I didn't mean to say that, and then I just realised I was saying it as I said it, and just like decided not to stop myself. Quickly. Lost as elsewhere. Mm. Uh, I'm Nico, and I'm playing Zora. Best card. There we go. Um, Cause why would anybody do an intro normally? Like honestly, like. What? Well, that was pretty normal. That's... I think the finale is going to be that, right? It's just going to be the most straightforward, dull intro. Ever. That was normal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, don't worry. That was the most normal one. Yeah. Except now we stopped to point it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lyco is a spooky and cookie and all round. Uh, yep. <laughs> Adam's family. I mean, you missed that part of me. It's it fine. It's like it all, like all the Quint. You heard him. Yeah. yeah, but you're spooky and you're spooky, and people need to know that because it just felt wrong that you missed that out, man. <laughs> and that's and that's weird telling you that. So, yeah. you know, straight from the android's mouth. Straight uh, from the mouth of horse. Um. So, what do you remember from last time? Horse. Right. So we done a wee bit of door puzzling. Hmm. Um. door puzzling. I broke a door. And we opened the door. We fought some zomboids. And then beat some zomboids. And blew himself up, crazy bastard. And we met a grey. It's the fact. Walked outside the ship. Yep. Yeah. The ship. <clears throat> my favourite part is the part where the zombie throws a grenade and survives it. That was my favourite part. I mean, it was like I so lacklustre. Like that where I survived it much better than he did. Yes. Yeah. Just uh, apparently pirouetting through all forms of danger. Mm -hmm. It's when you're showing the rulebook to the explosion. Be like, can you see how I take no damage <laughs> as it passes you by? Curved bullet. Curved the explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I curved the jump. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, anything else happen? No, uh, little great boys. Which I agreed. That's a bad really. Mm. <laughs> That's it. The best said. Uh, the the two Mulder sister. Uh, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> You're watching X Files. How much does that hold up in place? I I've barely watched any of it. I'll be honest with you. Oh. Uh, okay. From what I remember. Because I did, I I didn't get into it at the time. I tried watching it years later. It did feel pretty formulaic, very yeah. quickly. Um, because I'd only ever really caught random episodes previously, and a few years back I sat down and like binged through the first season and a half, and it was like, yep, this is Monster of the Week. Yeah, it, is. it always kind of was. I mean, oh yeah, yeah, and it practically invented the genre, so that's fine. But it it, it does get a little like it's Mulder yeah. said something outlandish. Other yeah. people have different ideas. Odor is correct. I mean, all shows like that can get a bit same with these days. Are, like, uh, for me, anyway, like, uh, yeah, to get a bit yeah. of that, I'm watch, you watch a Stargate as well. It's just like, yeah, you know, mad technology of the week. Like, really. And then, like, CSI and Law and Order that do just exactly the same pattern. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I mean, they're called cop DC drama DC stuff. For, right? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like cop drama stuff, and it really. Yeah, so X Files uh, is kind of that procedural. For aliens and shit. Um, so between that and Buffy. Well, Paul said there's still hot up very well Buffy's in terms there. of that. Like X Files. Mm -hmm. He's like one of the most ridiculous critics that I know. Man. So like, if he's serious, it's probably still hot up. So yeah, that's what we think, right? Yeah, I was going to say this is why we're in session 65, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome to your Alien Review Podcast. Yep, yep, we're just, well, I mean, where else would it be, right, other than Starfinder, The Fragments yeah. of Eternity, Session 65. Well, we've got a whole eternity to cover, haven't we? This is true, right, or at least a piece of it. Um, yeah. So, 
anything right. else to even think about, probably just talk about what the goals are at the end. There was the goop. There was some goop, yeah. Zombie mm -hmm. blood. Mm -hmm. Foamy. Delicious. Oh, Foamy. yeah. 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 Um, so we have, in our goals section, Discover what happened to the crew of the Kivalari. Catch a grey and take it back to the ship. Salvage the ship or a significant part. Get the stewardship intel slash crew slash corpse to Babak. And then Calum Skull. Okay, let's talk about that. No. Especially yeah. if I charge by the word. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, that is just a... I'm so sorry. Well, this is the second in a row when he could like I mean he could have organized his life better. So last week he was precious, this week fuck him. So Oh he's dead, uh, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Rest rest in peace. Uh F Callum. Yeah. yeah. F's. If you could post an F in the comments there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um oh, big F for Callum. You could if if you can you Callum, can a big F him. for you. <laughs> you can find him and give Huge. him an F. Huge Jeff. It just sounds like some horrible billionaire. Which <laughs> or by post? By post is preferred, ideally. So long, as, so long as the the envelope's licked personally. Yes. Is it? Oh, you don't lick it. That's unhygienic. Spit on it. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Um. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll just jump back in, right? Because we know where we were. This beauty. I was still in the ghost town. <laughs> yes. I have no idea what they're looking at, to be clear, people. Can't remember the Jorana stuff that I didn't read, read roll. Can't remember. Oh, uh, sure. Really re rolled again. Yeah, we re rolled the thoughts. I thought I wrote good as well. Yeah, I think I think this is our new initiative, right? We have. I think it is. Cause I think it is because I wrote terrible the last time, like the the first fight. I remember that. I remember it was like last. Hmm. So um, yeah, here we are. But I guess I'll zoom in on the other map so that it makes a bit more sense for folks at home. This big empty space. There we go. We zoom in again. I can probably afford it. There we go. Where's the real estate? Visual real estate. There we go. Visual. Visual real estate. <laughs> so, guess who's first, Captain? Hi. Uh, right. So after getting shot at, I point my gun at him, <laughs> and I bought it. What the hell? What the hell are you? Doing? Stand down of diplomacy. Oof. You're going to diplomatize this thing? Yeah. So, you're going to say stand down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Uh, a wild card, you say? Yeah. I mean, as that diplomacy, I would you want like intimidation either or? But, I mean. Uh, let's see. Give me a second, right? In this situation, I would say that's a diplomacy because I've. Yeah. Like, he just shot at me first. Like, I think that's pretty diplomatic, even not enough of dialogue. To be like, fair, the needle bounced <laughs> off you, right? Right. So, I mean, let's. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, you're you're a big vesky boy. Like, yeah. he said, "See you later, boy." Who are you? I am. Um, let's see. Where are we? I'm actually just looking up what he's willing to understand, language-wise. <laughs> okay. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Give me a... What would you, like, if you're saying stand down, um... I'd be saying a diplomatic person, like, <laughs> either or. Right. It's fine, or like, I think, like, you're maybe in a position where I think either way it's fine, right? So yeah, like, if you wanna... Give me a roll. Class of casual. Okay, okay. So, I'll uh, I'll get back to you, right, about that in a second. Um, I need to look up 
this guy in the book because it's one of those things where the abilities are listed separately for everybody. So it's like, this person has these things, so let's just not give you that on their sheet. Let's just have a page where all those things are listed. Which I think, in terms of book design, is neat, but for actually using it, having to bookmark 10 pages is really dull. Um, where are we? There we are. Okay, let me have a quick nosy at that. Is it something that I need to... To have something happen. I actually just thought about in this as well is like maybe I shouldn't wander off alone mm. because we're in the middle of this space and if there is any live stewards they're probably not going to react to me very well straight away right mm. understandably yeah, like, yeah that's just hindsight right now that I'm thinking of so or yeah. even given it's hindsight at the time it's more just sight it's just <laughs> hindsight Right now, hey. so, right. <laughs> Epimetheus. So, so maybe I just slow down after this incursion and let like we'll take the lead. I mean, I'm down the stairs though. I know, but maybe I just pull back and let you take the lead. Sure, sure. If you don't get eaten by blood, mm. yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. So the. Uh, the thing looks at you, right? Like, it looks at you and like kind of cocks its head to the side, and then, like, if you're not pointing your gun at it, if this is a diplomacy, it kind of looks at its gun and like looks at you, looks at its gun again, and like lowers its gun and cocks its head at you again. Yeah. yeah. That's it, and I'd kind of like do the, the sort of with my horn holding it down, so I yeah, 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 give him the thumbs up. And uh, it like takes a step towards you. Obviously, it can't mechanically because it's not its turn, but you know, it can control its five foot square and take a step forward within that square. Okay, I would. And then kind of like looks back up at you, like a kind of like you know, very sharp motions of the head. Like uh, it don't be near any harm, I think. And I guess I think that. Yeah. And uh, it kind of raises its other hand just up slowly, like almost waving, but not actually like waving at all, just raising it up like with that kind of open palm with its gun lower by its side. What else do you do? What, what, what else you do with your turn, buddy? Uh, I just go. Uh, we're here in a rescue mission. No, I don't mean speaking. I feel like we've covered our right, six no, seconds no, no, of no, chatting. No, 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 <laughs> then nothing. Then I would be my turn, I guess. Okay. Right. You gonna tune at all, buddy? I'll. I'll yeah, I guess I will. So Alex, the furious clicking of the your mouse is coming through, buddy. Or, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Like oh. Yes. I uh, I assume do we still have open comms. Uh, I feel like you do, yeah, because I feel like you've you've had that so on the go. I'll have an idea of what's going on down there. Do I know what what he's talking about? Did he say anything about what it is? I don't think so. Uh, nah, I don't think. Right. So I, don't I will need to get up. Now, here's the question. Climbing rules. Yeah, there's a ladder. It's just movement. So we'll movement. Ask you a great situation, but that would just be last week. So... Okay, so... I think I said it's like 10 feet to get to the top ladder, right? So... But 25 feet to get in there. Remember, you, you also... So, if it's 25 to get there and up, is that... How much do you have left? Because now you've got loads, right? Uh, 35. Cool, because you, you're going to stand on a weird, which means you can't stop on weird. Right, okay, I can continue fast. Um, so, if you want me to move you, I can do so, yeah? Yeah, move me up. Right, so I'll dump you where you'd come up, right? I can adjust. 
So I'll scoot past Weird. And um, now I can see it, and now it's in my line of sight. Do I know what it is? Uh, roll culture. They are very mysterious creatures. Culture? I mean, we knew it was going to be something. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's still quite obscure about them, though, right? Like, it's very little is known about yeah. them. I know that they're greys, and we don't know much about the greys. Yeah. So I know that they're generally they're generally a bit slippery and dodgy. I I mean I feel like the very fact that you don't know much about the greys yet there are so many vague accounts of them already tells you that right? Yeah. It's not a UFO today. Like it, these are literally the cover of like conspiracy magazine. Yeah. Okay. I think um, this is presumably the first time he's actually seen one though. So I'd say so. Yeah. That feels um, right. So I think he, despite the captain having sort of lowered his gun a bit, he'd sort of instinctively raise his head to it. And you, I mean, what you're looking at is this thing with its gun lower kind of passively at its side, its pistol thing, okay. and its hand up as if waving to the captain. Okay. Like, you know, like so splayed fingers. He immediately begins to raise his gun, but mm -hmm. sort of catches himself and doesn't. Um, it's maybe like half elevated. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like pointing, you know, at hip level almost, rather than pointing at the floor. Um, not quite, but, you know, it's like a 35 degree angle or something. Um, uh, Captain... That is a grey. Yeah, he's pretty grey. What? Can he communicate with us? Um... Doesn't like, like verbally. Sort of take a step forward or two, and shrug. Oh, I think and, uh, when it spots you, like it instinctively like just lifts its gun again and then it cocks its head straight to Zora. Uh, I would lift my hand up again, like this sort of whoa. Uh, I I'll sort of very <laughs> conspicuously freeze in place, and uh, I don't think I'll do anything else with my turn. So. What are you doing with your guns, though? It's still sort of, you know, it's it's not quite pointed at the floor, but it's certainly not raised in threat. And uh, yeah, it kind of like quickly snaps its head at you, and then we'll go to weird. Okay, I'm going to assume there is symmetry between here and here. So can I walk into this space here? Uh, sure. Yeah. I'll move you. This is yes. the ship again. That problem. Yeah. There looks to be a door. That's a narrow corridor. Just imagine in the actual show. Weird bumbling about this ship, using your ability like that. It's a tight corridor. <coughs> Squeezing the fruit. Mm. <laughs> Meta knowledge. But can I hack the door at the end, please? Uh, the one you're facing, yeah. That one, yeah. Sure, go for it. Uh, good. Yeah, yep, that's fine. I'm pretty sure 25 was the, the actual checkpoint. That sounds about right. right. Um, yeah. Let me go to that layer. Let me remember what button that is. That's this one, good. Uh, let's find that door. And then, pip. I move forward a bit. Uh. Okay, yeah, that'll be my turn, I think. Okay, cool. And I'll move back to the right layer so I don't fuck up anything in the other layer, <laughs> <laughs> which is so easy to do. Um, yeah, there's not a lot. On, there's not enough options to lock layers or add new layers, um, which bugs me. Um, I really want a, an ability to do that. The layer button would be good. I would want that for a lot of things. A lot of mm -hmm. It means I could do like more building work, like having multiple levels of a building. Um, 
which would be nice. Instead of having to have it like this, where obviously you're moving up the ship, but you have to technically move to the side because of the way maps work. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, the grey looks at you, Zora, and then looks at Lyco, and it's obviously got his gun uh, pointed, and looks at you and looks at, what was it you were saying you were doing with your hand? Yeah, I was just kind of giving like, the sort of, uh, like, easy, easy there, like, fucking... So you're like, out. I guess as you put your hand out then, um, it kind of like raises its hand again and like puts its gun down to the side and looks at its gun and looks at you again, sharply. And kind of waits for some kind of uh, visual um, okay, quite frankly. Yeah. Do, you uh, do, do you give any? I, I would put my gun on its sling. Okay. I'd put it over and I'd kind of like... You know, they kind of wave like, or they kind of like put his guns away as well. And uh, it takes a very like tentative step forward. Yeah. Uh, and like goes to like touch its hand to your hand as you've got it out to it. Oh, I've been in this situation before, so it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't let it happen. <laughs> I would, I'd, yeah, yeah, I'd just bring my hand out towards it. Okay, yeah, so you let it touch you. Mm -hmm. Seems I'm gonna go this. Oh my god. I need a will save. I, I, I will, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking tricky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's still that difficult, it will save. Oh, that's a very apt skill for a Gree to have. Mm hmm. Try to fucking riffy me, boys. As, uh, as this is happening, I'm probably saying Captain. <laughs> ah, of course, I failed it. Yes! Yes! Okay, so. Let's see. I. A uh, creature that fails uh, to save awakens but is paralyzed for... Well, that's weird. What is the wording on that? Let me reread that again. Okay, as a standard action, a grey can paralyze a sleeping creature within 30 feet that it can see. The target succeeds at a DC 15 will save. Remain... Six minutes. Okay. Um... Any attack or hostile action other than the grey's ability to for information ends the paralysis. Okay, okay. So, um, but is it asleep? Okay, maybe it can't use this ability then. I think you need to be asleep for it to yeah, be. Yeah, I think it does. Right. Okay. Let me uh, undo that. I've I've done that wrong. Let me do a legal move, right? And let me do this instead. Yeah. Right. So. There was the, the button I probably should have pushed. Yeah, it is a hard double save, so I failed anyway. So it's cool. Oh no, I'll let, I'll let you remake it if you want. I don't mind. No, 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 I'm cool. Happy? Just take my own. I'm fine with that. Area. That affect me too. Uh, what's the area of it? I have if no idea. Know. It says close. Uh, it's in a 10 foot radius burst. Yeah, I think it would. Do you want to do a world save for me, buddy? I get any bonus to this? Let me just double check. I think I do. But I don't want to miss it if I do do it. Oh no, definitely. Do 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 do. Mind affecting effect, paralysis, sleep. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. So. Let me roll. Well, save. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I'm sure it is. Yeah. Is that not? This is with plus one. Okay, so I didn't succeed. Right, so... Sleep... blah blah blah... blah 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 blah... Doesn't affect... Um, deep slumber doesn't affect unconscious creatures, constructs, or undead creatures. Uh, I'm only undead when it's not beneficial, remember? Mm. Interesting. Because I do get, like, as I say, I get a bonus to not being put to sleep, or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, exhausted, diseased, blah blah blah. I, all these things I get a bonus to, but I don't get the undead immunity to them. So random. 
I mean, okay. it's, it's basically to make you as little like an actual undead while still having you technically be undead. Uh, can you both put yourselves asleep for me then? This is what I get if I'll be diplomatic. Mm. Yeah, with a grey. Mate. I mean, where's the sleep at? What was they well, right? Yeah, uh, just to get out of the closed eyes. I'll do. It's like the second one in, yeah. yeah. Uh, which, appropriately enough, also looks kind of like a knee. And you've got, um, I guess you're prone as well, right? Because you'll fall, right? Uh, what the prone was? It's, it's the boot. The booty. Boot. Mm -hmm. I've got too many pups. I mean, bad's beneficial, but I've got too many pups. Mm. Um, luckily I can't do um, sleep paralysis after that because it's a standard action. So I have used this. I am. Um, there we go. That is done. Uh, and yeah, what else am I gonna do? What else? It's gonna go. Hmm. Oh, one or more living creatures with a total CR of 8 or lower. What's our total CR? Yeah, right. That's a good point. Also, the duration says 0 minutes. Ah, uh, but uh, uh, around is like 6 seconds, there's an awesome shit, 10 yeah, seconds. Yeah, I can't 0 remember. minutes still doesn't tell us how many rounds. Uh, Let's see. Deep slumber. Let's have a look at it as a spell. Ah. Hmm. It's one minute per level. Is the duration according to this? Yep, on deep slumber for me. One minute per level. I've just looked up in the compendium for spells. What's the level? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it'll be four minutes. Because this counts as a, a caster level four. So, we are out for 40 turns. Weird. Good luck, sir. Unless something wakes you. Um, but, I need to work out the CR thing. Is it around 6 seconds or is it 10? I can't remember. It's 6. Um, six but hmm, I wonder. That is a good point. Is that how you work CR right for you guys? Because you still have a CR. Yeah. Um. Right. Yeah, I don't. This is a, this is one for Google. I uh, literally typing it in deep slumber, a uh, star finder. Um, player CR. Determining player CR, there's a Reddit post about it. But hopefully there's an answer here. Hopefully, yeah. Good, no, it's not a finder. It's not a star finder combat session for how you rule check, let's face it. I mean, yeah. Wait. Yeah. We'd be doing fucking the game injustice. <laughs> Page 389, generally the CR of an NPC equals the level of a PC with the same abilities. So would that make us CR 10? No, because that, that, that isn't like, that's talking about NPCs. Yeah, but it's saying NPC CR is equal to a player level, basically. But you aren't NPCs. I know. So which right. and it's right. your CR. I need to work out. Right. Equals the level of a PC with the same abilities. For example, an NPC of abilities similar to a second level technomancer yeah. CR two. But what what it's saying is that NPC CR scales roughly equivalent to player level. Uh, no, because a CR like two is meant for like a group of. Yeah. That's my issue, because a CR2 is a, you know, one of them is a match for a level 2 party. So, that's why I don't like that at all. I am... Um, 
because if we were fight, if this is a CR10, this would be like near enough boss fight level yeah. right now. Like, it should actually be quite OP for you guys if there's only three of you, quite frankly, with a CR10. Um, that's annoying. Um, okay, player CR level uh, Starfinder. Pathfinder's probably not a terrible search either. Um, and I mean, usually you could bump like Dune the CR a wee bit, like one or two in like D&D, but it seems like Pathfinder needs to be like half the fucking CR if you want like a group of people to fight that. <laughs> Calmly. So apparently in Pathfinder it's C is, is level flat, uh, yeah, PC level minus one, depending on your level of wealth, or if you have good items, it's PC level. That's, that's from one of these threads saying what it, how it works in Starfinder. But Pathfinder, so it might not be the same. Again, that seems like it's working out NPC. Like no, it's, that's, that's about players. Player CR level is level minus one, unless they have it at high levels of wealth, in which in which case it's class level. It um, actually just oh, matches the gear adjustment rules that they got for NPCs. Hmm. Yeah, ignoring Pathfinders. Interesting. Uh, so did they actually take into account people having shit gear for things? Which makes sense, right? If CR yeah. is meant to be challenge rating and not level, but... Calculating for CR, here's a Paizo form. The thing I don't like about that is it doesn't tell you how many players that means, right? Because if you are a CR, say 10, right? Or a 9, regardless, right? A 9 or a 10. There are three of you. So then, if that was CR, is that meaning that that equivalent of number of bad guys? Do you know, like the inverse of how you would calculate a fight? Where if you guys are level 10, I can throw CR 10 things like one CR10 thing at you, because there's four of you versus one of it. But if you're inverting that for player, and you're saying that you're, like, Lyco is a CR9 monster, then in theory I should be able to throw Lyco against X amount of things as well. Does that make sense? But it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't account for the fact that there's multiple of you. It's basically said, like, a CR-10, we would have to fight, like, three CR-10s right now if we wanted, like, a... No, it says that, apparently, you, you're the equivalent, like, so, as a party, which is, like, say, four or five players, your CR level equals, like, you know, like, your party level equals the CR level. So, in your team of four, if we include Zig in this, and these are all level 10, I can throw one CR-10 thing at you, because that's designed to fight you. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But... If this is saying that you are apparently equal on your own to CR nine or that's, ten, that's what I meant. I that's dumb. Like, yeah, that means we would have to. I feel like that's saying we that means I should be able to. Th I should, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, exactly. I should be able to throw more at you, but it's. Can you see, Colin? Why I don't like that? I fucking thought goblins. Okay. I guess mm. the other there is that when it, when we're fighting monsters to the death, we're usually not supposed to be going kind of exactly toe to toe and mm. ending up post death in quite the same way. Hey. So take a few CR10 monsters over the course of a day. Yeah. It's because the idea is, right, PCs should be able to kill quite a few enemies over the course of the game, but the enemies probably shouldn't kill too many PCs. So that is you know, deliberately downscaled to form multiple encounters between long rest. Yeah, I, I don't know if that... Everything I'm seeing um, seems to imply that we would be either 9 or 10. Mm. Yeah, like that's what I'm seeing as well here, but... Again, Which it does seem odd. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't like that at all. To be honest, it doesn't make sense. Again, because then, if you count as a CR nine or ten creature, why am I not throwing the CR nine book equivalent it's, it's, bad guys to you? Balance. Yeah, it's, it's not meant to be a fight between equals. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. How curious. In that yeah, case, I, I imagine it would work out if you threw all of those monsters in together over the course of one long rest, took all of those and added them up. It, it should balance out. So you're saying between long rests, CR times long. four? Yeah, Would basically. make sense. I could see that maths, yeah? Yeah. I could see that maths working out. 
It's kind of dumb, but I could see that being what they built it around, right? The assumption that you'd yeah. get four fights in a day. Yeah, so that's It's kind of what a 13th age did. They assumed you'd have four fights a day. Hmm. In that case, I don't think either of you are asleep, right? In that case, it would certainly seem like no. Oh, no, but. On the other hand, that, that is. That odd. turns out to a really crap. Yep. Yeah. That is strange. Because <coughs> it basically means that enemy is capped. Right? It does, yeah. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like how unclear that is. There must be something in the core rulebook somewhere that actually highlights the cut, like the CR level of a person. But like, I guess if it is meant to be apparently asymmetrical. But again, nothing's officially told me that, which is what I dislike. Yeah, these obviously enemies have abilities that choose work. It might just be that as bad as not as sleep in D and D caps out. Yeah. At a certain point, Here's but but you can upcast it. When it's talking about when it's talking about NPCs, it's talking about creating an NPC using the player template, mm. right? When it talks about in this section on three eighty nine, adding NPCs, this very much seems like an NPC who is based on the character's templates and has gear like a character. So it would make sense that those would be pretty much the same because mm. mechanically an NPC used using the same like class. I'm literally basic. looking through the index just now to see if there's anything that I doubt it but I'm having a look anyway. Why would there be anything listed under player in the uh, index right? Um, creatures, yeah, adding NPCs. Creatures with abilities that match a class such as creatures that belong to PC races detailed in this book function differently than creatures with Substantial innate abilities. Their power comes from more from gear than nature, and they might have skills or abilities similar to those of PCs. Generally, the CR of an NPC equals the level of a PC with the same abilities. So, if we can assume that an NPC who is a 10th level operative is CR 10, we can probably assume a player that's the 10th level operative is CR 10. So, yeah, that does seem to follow. It's not explicitly stated. And I do agree, that is irritating. Let's see. But, what I would say is that you're the GM. I would have no problem with that being classed as a win for him. Yeah, I would as well. No, like, I, 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 I was going to say, I don't want to be... I don't mind if it only hits one of you, though, right? Like, I don't want to be doing stuff the thing isn't able to do, right? That's another thing. I just don't understand why it's able to... I'm just, I mean, I guess... Like it, the the move's designed probably for the Sadzo CR. Like so but at the end of the day, like that's just boring because what happens if you want like the situation well like Because like, like here's like, here's another thing, right? Like, the C the CR system works best when the CR of each of the GM's creatures is relatively close to the PC's average party level. It doesn't give me a average party level to CR calculator though, which is the the part I want. Um, it might be tempting to throw a single higher CR creature against the party, and sometimes that works out fine, but you may run the risk of obliterating the party when their save, saving throws aren't yet high enough to protect against the creature's abilities. Conversely, if you throw a horde of CR1 creatures against your party with an APL of 8, those creatures are unlikely to hit the character armor classes or succeed with any abilities, and thus they won't be challenging no matter how many you include. Yet, just as with the tidal wave of low CR, it can become a tensionless slog for players. Fighting a single opponent can also be a bore, depending on that opponent's abilities. A lone technomancer without any bodyguards or defences, blah 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 blah. So, arguably, that basically states that that ability should fail. Right? Mm. Arguably. Yeah, if I'm reading between a lot of those lines, it's basically saying this system isn't quite like 5e in the sense that if you are outclassing somebody, you have outclassed them. And that works both ways, and that is terrifying. Um, yeah. I just wish it actually had individual player CR calculator in the rulebook, 
I would say for 389, from reading it, it seems very clear that, again, like they're talking about using the player character template in NPC, their total level is their CR, unless they have shit gear, in which case it's minus one. Right, it's like, it's... If it if it applies that way, it should apply the other. So I would, I'd be inclined to say, I mean, I don't know. Our gear isn't amazing. I mean, I think like weird gear is pretty impressive. Mine's pretty good. So I'm, well, yeah, I think we're probably all ten. I've got good armor, crap weapons. Yeah, my my weapons aren't amazing. Uh, my armor's pretty good. It's it's the stats on it are such that I keep on checking every time I look at it. Is this really light armor? And it is. What is your um? What is your XP total as an individual? Right. So these are level ten. Oh, right. God. Um. So it's a million. Uh, let's gems. find that out. Where's the uh, Where's the Where's the player XP table? Where's that? Very early, if I recall. Let's find that out because you could technically work it out that way, right? Even though it, it's probably super jank. Also, MD listing, well done. Like, I hope user in, is interested yeah, in this answer as this, um this, as this I am. Is all for. Remember to email them. Yes, at least uh, twice. 71,000. Right, so seventy-one thousand divided by four, right? Is what? More than uh, eight. Yeah, right, okay. So using that really drank maths, um can you divide it by five for me instead? Seventy one thousand divided by five. Okay, so either way, that would make you CR11, right? According to the table of XP for bad guys. Okay. Because the checkpoint for 11 is 12,800 total XP. And that makes sense, right? Because I'm dividing it by 4 slash 5. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that both falls in the bracket of 11, because 19,200 would be 12. But even that doesn't make sense. So... I think, for the most part, we can just assume it's going to be your level or one lower, and I think that's fine for me until I can find something that actually clarifies it anymore. Thanks, Paizo. Um, yeah, no, I think I'll just have it, like, try and use that, and I feel like you just feel sleepy but don't fall asleep. I think that's what happens, right? Cool. I think that's the most legal thing that can happen out of this exchange. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, Ryan, because that actually is kind of shit. I can, I can see oh no, it's fine. Know. It's completely fine. Like, if the thing just can't do it, I'd rather not do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I'm not just going to narrative hand wave. It's lame having thrown in a creature thinking it can do something and then discovering that because Paiso choose to hide the rules behind several other sets of rules. Yeah, so it'd be different if it just gave me hit point values I could roll for you guys, right? Um, Like sleep does. That'd be much nicer, because I like rolling the health dice for sleep. But, yeah. I feel even worse for this thing, as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that is pretty shit, though, but like, that's, that's... I mean, that's, that's these things happen. situation as well. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> but, it's but it's like, the, the, I mean, keep in mind, there is, um... There's it trying to put you to sleep, and then there's it murdering you, right? There's two scenarios that can happen. Pacifist combat and murder combat. But we'll see how that goes. Also, likely you're no longer a sleeper. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just going to try and suck my brain. But yeah, I'll definitely have it have tried to put you to sleep, because I think that it would have, right? Whether it knew it could or not. Because that feels right. Yeah, they wouldn't necessarily instinctively know that yeah, you right. have too many experience points to put to sleep. Which is so fucking dumb. Like, but that's so jank. I, I really hope other GMs haven't fell into the, and now you're asleep. Oh, no, you're not, and you never will be. I mean, it, it, ultimately, you are the one that makes that judgment. 
So if you felt that it was reasonable, you could just... No, no, because I would argue that. I'd be like, but it can't affect me if I was a player, right? I would argue it the other way, so... Well, that's fair, that is fair. I could just see it, I could see it either way myself. Yeah, like, if I needed you to be asleep, Hmm. I could, but I, I don't. So, I definitely tried it. And it's Zora's goal. Uh, we're back on track, folks, right? Uh, I would shake my head, and I, but I, I don't even know if I would count that as an attack. Uh, I mean, I can tell you it's more of a spell-like ability than an attack. Ah, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, one more chance. Stand down. It looks at you. Funny it just looks at you and like cocks its head. Um, I don't even think it can blink, do you know that? So I don't even think it blinks at you. Uh, I'll defensive step back once. Oh, we you get guarded step? Guarded step, yeah, yeah. I keep on saying defensive step. You know what That's I mean? fine, yeah. <laughs> A passive aggressive step back. Yep, yep. And. In my thumb, because that's basically it. A tuning? Uh, yeah, I'll go to. Like, I don't think you get a choice, do you? Like. Nah, I don't. You, you need to tune one way or the it's, other. Uh, it's charging up. I'm going nuclear. That's just the way of God, so. Uh, I like him. Yes, indeed, sir. What's happening? Um, we are still in open comms with Furler, right? She was keeping her comms open, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do <laughs> is, first of all, I'm going to say to her, Furler, can you hear us? And just like, there's maybe like silence for like a second. So, like, comms are open. Tell CC to build something that can hold a grey and uh, do it quick. Thanks. And then I shoot it using a trick attack. Okay, okay. Um, let me just do my trick attack check and I'm going to use my standard uh, motif sensei. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Does a 27 work? Uh, what's the maths? 20 plus CR? Let me just double check that. I think it is. That feels right, doesn't it? I uh, don't want to get it wrong. If that is correct, that is correct. It did work. Um, right. 20 plus... Yeah, yeah. 20 yeah. plus CR. Yep, yep. And uh, now I still have a hit. Yeah. And I will be making flat-footed. Um, do, 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 do. Where's my pistol gone? Still have Let me just check how my ammo is. Tons. Tons of ammo. So much ammo. More than I reasonably use in a fight. And uh, I do my. 5d8, isn't it? Something stupid like that, yeah. Let me just double check. I can't believe I've already forgotten everything since last week. This is how my brain works at this point. Old age, kids, if you can avoid growing old, please do. Um, wow, well, I shouldn't uh, say that. <laughs> uh, 5d8, yeah. 29. Uh, cool. I need you to roll a d100 for me, please. I can and I will. D100. Okay. You hit the creature. Oh, he's got concealment. Oh, he's got grey. He's got the um, twenty percent miss chance. That's what he's got. Uh, Never trust the grey. Well, I mean, no, I mean, no, I know that. Okay, I tried. Already, <laughs> I tried. That uses Cannot. all of my actions, so it's it's weird o'clock. Uh, how much damage is that total, buddy? Uh, that would be twenty nine. Nice. Yeah, I'm a diplomat. It does not look great. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to say, uh, in fact, I'll just say it in character. Guys, let's try not to kill this thing, because uh, I don't know if you know this, but they are rare. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, maybe Isabel does come over comms and she's like, do you need backup? Or he's okay. We're good. Okay. Um. So yeah, 
Uh, that is you, yeah. That's me. And you see this thing was flat footed now? It will be, yeah. Cool. I... Am I not meant to make a save against this, or does it not work that way? Is it just the. Uh... I don't think there's any mention of a save. Um, it's just you. If you succeed at the check, you deal extra damage and target is flat footed. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about a save. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I think it's just a CR rating then, isn't it? That does that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right. In that case, it's weird. What's happening, weird? Give me two seconds just to go close my window. But think out loud. I'm thinking. I'm not to knock us unconscious. We just need to not double its HP. Is that right? <laughs> uh, how much space is there between you guys and the gray? Enough. Just yeah, you good. could just fit it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, want to, do you want to phase through there and go? Uh, I'm trying to decide that or whether to try and loop around. Do you? Um, punch uh, might kill it. In fact, your punch might be perfect actually because I might kill it. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I have binders on me. I don't know how much they'll do against the grey, but there's something. Mm. Uh, I'm going to move down to here then. Uh, do you want to move you? Uh, I can do that. Okay, uh, go buddy. There's stairs. Is that stairs going up or down? Down. Uh, that's right. the end up there, isn't it? Yes. Can I hack this door here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have binders on you. Like on. Uh -huh. 36. I assume you want it open. Yeah. Waist. Just so I can put my nose in as I go past. I always forget that I always forget that I have them. But Done. no, you keep them in the waist like a cop. Oh, I can't see it from here. Oh. oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any way that I can move to look in there. Uh, do you, how much movement you got left? I've got five feet. Uh, I mean, I feet like. You could position yourself half out of the ship again, but then you'd be stuck half out of the ship. If I position myself half through that door... You mean like... So just, just, that I'm just, squeezing, just squeezing that place. You could just step one to the to the right, yeah? One, one to the right. Well, bam. Ooh, this glowy thing. Yeah, it's some kind of a... I mean, realistically, it, this is some kind of bizarre workshop, right? Yep. So, yeah. Okay, that's my turn. Um, I think technically, right, I'm just going to quickly move you in because technically you should see the whole thing, but obviously the way the token jank, you can't. Can you see that? Yes, I can. So I muted myself. Cool. Found the workshop. But you're technically there. <laughs> yep. Cool. Okay. And it's this thing's turn. So it looks at both of you, it looks at all the bullet holes. In its frail body, um, and it cocks its head uh, and points the gun angrily at um, Lyco, and just cocks its head very quickly to Zora, as if indicating some form of betrayal. Uh, and then, uh, try. <laughs> okay. Did you though? I'm, I don't. I don't shoot it. And then it just uh, falls through the floor. Oh. That's a real nice move. All the bullets uh, are probably left tinkling on the ground as it phases through. Yeah, I heard they could do something like that. Shit. Mm. Well then. Like his brains highlighting all the parts of the police reports from crazy people that are now making sense in his brain. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, we uh, we got our care of hands in that. It could be responsible for whatever happened here. Oh. Um. <laughs> but why did it go down? Did you say? Uh, it just fell through the floor. Up or down to here? You went up. Yeah. Okay. 
so it's presumably below. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm, I was thinking. Okay. Uh, right, sure go. I will sigh and sprint in. I won't sprint, I'll just run. Where are you going? Down. Okay, yeah. So I'll move your map. Um, 10 feet to get 20 feet down. That's it. Yeah, take it alive if you can. Ah. Uh, uh, do my best. I would put my feet, so I'll go wing. Wing. Uh, point, point. Cool. Ha -ha. So, ha -ha. so, I've got a couple of things to do based on that movement. <laughs> 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 so, I need to do this. I need to do this first. We're well, bam. Uh, is that good enough for your KAC? I think it misses. Just, but I think it misses. Uh, 28, 27, misses. Okay, and then we're bam. And then we're bam. Oh, that one, is that cack or yak? It's KAC. Seven. They're all so they're all KAC by the way against that. So if I have twenty seven, does it hit? Yes. Look cool, it hits then. So cool. Six piercing damage is nothing though. Um, <laughs> and it's only because you moved past it that it got that. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Um, I was going to stop as well. Mm. I was going to stop there, and I was like, nah, I'll I'll just charge in. I don't think I could stop them with the R five feet yeah, anyway. That'd be cheating. So I was like, nah, I'll just do the whole five. Get as close as possible. Uh, that's your move, though, right? Any actions? Uh, huh. Oh, I guess I'm free and free. But I'm not going to. Yeah. Don't worry. Yep. Uh, oops. I'm not worried. <laughs> uh, I, mean, I mean, just on. Ah. <laughs> 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 not gonna go in your clear. I'm thinking just like a good old point. But I'm wondering it's the I'm idea of you just like seeing this thing fall through the floor, all the bullets tinkling on the ground, you just turning around and legging it and sliding down the thing, and then all of a sudden they just hear the fucking Godzilla roaring and the, <laughs> the light show flashing up from below deck. Yeah. Uh, I don't really think I can think of. I wish I was Graviton and I could just like one whole like one. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't think gravity is such like with the mobilizing in any way. What am I this armor trip combat maneuver against the target with him? Yes. I'll just try this, right? Just to try and. Why not? Soften them up. I don't want to kill them, right? <laughs> and. Boom. Right. What do I need to care about? I can perform a disarm or trip combat maneuver, blah blah blah. Basically, it's a trip maneuver we using my charisma modifier and steed that plus four on top. Right. That's so I just need to quickly check what trip what trip is and we're good to go. Sure. Uh, just going to manual roll as well because I don't think I've got them on the set up properly. I what target out of interest? Target, wait, I missed something. <laughs> oh shit, I've got one closest to me. I did not know it's that one. <laughs> oh my god, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, I'm actually just going to. I'm going to just break the, the whatever wall this is, right? I'm going to show you what he missed, right? This is what he missed noticing. I noticed the one right next to me, right? Right, there's a spoiler, guys, and that's what he missed. I can see nothing. Have you posted it somewhere? So oh, yeah. oh, wow. He missed yeah. the fact that there's two. Yeah. 
Nico, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I yeah, just walked in, no, it's fine, but I'm just going to do the one next to me. That is so That's dumb. This is, this is the guy that rolled 23 initiative? <laughs> yeah, he's jumpy, right? Um, right, right, cool. That's a, it's just basically I'm just knocking prone with just the, that DC. That's basically our trip is. Uh, What's the so DC, sorry? It is a charisma plus four. And I, I, I don't as actual of it. I thought you just looked up a trip attack. Just says you're not the target prone if it's on the ground. The target in there instead descends 10 feet. From from prone if this causes it to fall to the ground. Uh, oh, yeah, I think need to repeat the combat. Right. Mm. Cag plus 8. Wait, what? There's an opponent within your reach. Sometimes you can detect one of the fallen combat maneuvers, reach maneuver. There's an opponent within your reach, including weapon reach, blah blah blah. And then make a melee attack roll against the opponent's cack. Let's see, the effect of success very. Okay, so it's right. it's my KAC plus eight versus your charisma attack roll plus four, right? That so, sounds really bad. Okay. So I think you can just. What is your charisma mod? Uh, plus four. Is that the same as your attack mod for like? I don't think so. Mm. Um. Well, just roll strength. Like, do it. You're unarmed, right? You've got an unarmed move, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, and then find out what one's your strength in there, and we could substitute that out for charisma, right? That would make sense. Yeah, it makes sense. So I assume you still get your bab and all that nonsense. Because mm -hmm. it is an attack roll. As long as you don't have improved combat feet maneuver. Right, so what of that is your strength? It's plus three. So it's just a plus one on that, right? It's a plus three. That's plus three. So plus one it's plus five, right? So it's twenty four? Uh yep. Plus three, plus four, yeah, yeah, it'll be 24. Uh, so that's a DC of 24 I need to beat. And it's my KAC plus eight, right? Let me work that out. Uh, it works. Wow. Yeah. So the one closest you said is now a uh, prone. Okay, okay. Uh, I need you to roll a d100. Oh, yes. Uh, yep, it hits. Yeah. Where is the booty? Am I hiding up with this? I am. There we go. Uh, we got two of them, and I'll end my turn. Thank you. Uh, Isabel comes over comes. Doing okay, guys? Uh, still, still fine. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, Michael. They're slippery, though, so maybe watch out for any trying to escape the ship. You just hear the. She wouldn't see it, but I'm shrugging as I say that. <laughs> yeah, I think like it cuts the camera cuts to her, and she's already got like you know a gun pointed at the airlock um, that she's had since like two call messages ago. Um, I mean, if I did um, see two of them, I would go and clear. By the way, before Actually, <laughs> I did, um, well, as I'm doing that, I'll probably um, yeah, because before I run down, I'm going to take a quick moment to investigate up here just to sort of see what I think it was up to. Uh, sure, yeah. So sort of move over there because there's no way that uses up my movement. Uh, so <laughs> and, uh, there is a... Obviously I know you've got lots of movement but you, you phased through a piece of engine there, buddy. It's, um, sorry, no, it's that corner, it's that center. Boom, boom. 25. 
yeah, you can get there fine. Yeah, I knew you would be able to get there. It's just you went straight through an engine. The way um, I saw it. So yeah, I I will roll. What would I roll? This uh, just in case it's it's sort of interfered with anything. Don't tell me it's going to be engineering. Um, I mean, really, it's perception, right? Perception. Because you're really that yeah. you don't have a lot of time to do investigate, I really. I will do perception. Then. Yeah. Um. Again, you're looking to see if it's messed with anything, but you don't technically know what's happened. Yeah. Like, sons it. So I think it's um inconclusive, right? Um. There doesn't seem to be grey traces anywhere on the old detective vision. Okay. Um. <laughs> The only thing you can see is obviously the bullets, where it's like the where it's phased through the floor, and left them behind. Uh, but besides that, yeah, I don't see if I don't think there's anything obvious that you know. So uh, I wouldn't comment on that. Um, it's mostly just that you're in the engine room, really. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll say uh, weird. What's your situation looking like? There's empty corridors back here. Encircling should go well. Okay. Uh, Gonna back up cap. Here's the thing. Are you able to end your turn midway through stuff? Uh, no, but I'd be squeezed into the corridor. Sure. Cool. There are squeeze rolls. Okay, well, if you want, I, I can squeeze you. I will end my turn. Two or three seconds to. I, I find that cool squeezing. Um, Okay. Only the squeezing there's alive. there's a grabby hand for you being squeezed, or we've got yeah. that that that's also like a shieldy one though. So we'll go for grabby hands for squeeze. I'll squeeze you in. Squeezing. There you go. Remind me to unsqueeze you at some point. Yes. I. So yeah. Also, like, is there an on-off switch for that? Because then technically. You probably couldn't squeeze, right? If you can't turn it off, right? Because you would just phase uh, through the sides. Yeah, let me have a look at the wording. Because that's probably important enough to know for action economy. Uh, and squeezing probably means you don't have a lot of movement, which means your five foot that you had left probably couldn't be used for squeezing. But you know, you can look that up while we're telling me that. Yeah. Where are you off to, Lego? Uh, I am ending my turn because I don't have enough stuff to get down the ladder. Uh, sure. I mean, you could run, right? Yeah, I think I used my action sort of doing that, so... Yeah, like, I don't mind so much if you... Like, having a quick glance around isn't the same as, you know... I don't mind if you wanted to run to move down further. I don't mind that at all. I'm taking it a bit more cautiously. Okay, okay. I'll leave you where you are then. Uh, weird. Yes. Do you fancy them? Uh, well, I'm squeezing you at half your speed, and I consider to have the entangled condition. Oh my. Um, although, yeah, it gets a bit weird because the armor thing says that I can move the objects up to five foot. Yeah, so. So you're technically not squeezing, but it means you couldn't step in that square, right? What? Well, because if you're squeezing, you couldn't have moved there, right? Because you don't have the movement to squeeze. But unless I move there and then squeeze. But then, didn't you only have five foot of your move left for that? So I mean, that's not too much of an issue anyway, because I would have walked past the door anyway. Yeah. It's more just for the actual execution order that we need to be aware of, because yeah. obviously, if you're, if you need to use some form of activity to activate and deactivate phasing. Yeah, no, there, there's none of that involved. Right. Okay. It's just that I can move through things. It's it seems to be will based. Right. Okay. Um, but you can't sure. stop midway through objects. No. Cool. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So. But we'll, yeah, we'll get weird. Yeah, we'll go with that from now on, though, in terms of, um, like, economy, as it were. Yeah. 
So, I'll step back to you. So you're not wanting to go into that room, though? No. You're happy? Uh, yeah, no, I'll go around. Okay. In fact, uh, no, I can go, I'll go into the room. Okay. I'll step in. Okay. And I no longer have the squeeze there. Yeah. Let's Depending on the outcome of the next turn, I may just explode. <laughs> then I'm gonna run through this door. So the same again. Phase through it and then squeeze on the other side. Okay. <laughs> it's like having this like crazy techno solid snake run. Perfect. Okay. Um, cool. And then I will. I know that door is open. And that's, another, and that's another air airlock, obviously, you're looking at as well. Yeah. Probably, I think I'll hack that door behind me while I'm here. Sure. Is there any penalty for squeezing to skill checks? Uh, entangled condition? I don't think it does. Entangled. Yeah, nothing. Uh, dex based ability checks. This it's is not. not yeah, I was going to say, this is not a dex based one. Although arguably, like, you know, I was going to say, had you had to reach for a control pad, maybe, but uh, yeah. No, maybe you're just a bit squished for that to work. Yeah, too busy trying to figure out my way around the captain. Yeah. But you get the, mm -mm, you know, one for oh, that. Cool. Uh, right. Assuming there's nothing else to do for you there. No, no good, okay. Uh, so... Captain, I will try this, I guess. Let's see what happens. Oops, I keep myself HP damage there, but it's not a damage. <laughs> Just Two. translate Two. it over. Two. Yep, yep. Two. <laughs> and I just realised I had 6 HP missiles, so how'd that happen? Right. So, first boy. Nope. And then second boy stands up. Got it. Got to do yeah. It's not really a favour as so much <laughs> as I don't think they could have the full attack. Uh, it doesn't mean they're gonna they're gonna stop though. Yeah, yeah. Just in case you didn't know that. I am. Um, I, mean. I need a DC seventeen. Will save. Yeah, uh, you never know. This might be the uh, one. Maybe the one. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, buddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So this one tries to reach out and touch you as well. How did it? Yeah. And then a. Uh, Takes Do either of these look beaten up, by the way? Guarded step, yeah, one of them definitely does, the one to the left. Uh, yeah, that one moves there as a guarded step, and that's a... Uh... In fact, I don't know if he can, right? If I stood up, he probably can't, so I'll just leave him where he was. I feel like I can't guarded step if I've stood Be up. Defeat. Yeah, it's a bit of action to stand up, if you unless you've got you a... can guarded step you. Mm hmm. I was going to take that feet. Uh, okay. It's you now, buddy. It is indeed. Uh, we only need one of them, right? Mm. Mm. Uh, I obviously I can't see what you're doing, but I mean, are you thinking you can kill one and then... Oh, like, I could probably kill one. Out, my right? concern is, I think these things might not leave corpses. Mm. Uh, well... They're notorious for being sort of uncatchable, right? You, you mm -hmm. don't get your hands on them easily. You don't encounter them often, and you tend to encounter them on, them on their terms, but pretty sure somewhere along the line someone's killed one, and yet... You do, you'd hope somebody, someone, right? You know, just, just fired a random shot maybe and hit one, you know, it doesn't have to be that they're easy to kill, but someone somewhere should have killed one, and yet... <laughs> Imagine in all of grey society they just never had a death. Yeah. Unnaturally. <laughs> I just need to 
quickly work out some distance janking. Yeah. So I don't hit one and not the other, and then I'm good to go. So, uh, you sure you want to go Nova with the engine yeah. straight above you? Uh, maybe, maybe not Nova, actually. Maybe, maybe a Constellation it's, Blast. It's it. all I want to just point out because. Constellation yeah. Blast might not be no quite as. <laughs> you're right though, you're right. I'll probably just shoot it to death to be honest with you. If I even hit it. Was there a pennant loose for being engaged in combat with shooting again? I forget all the rules now. No, there's no shooting. It's just a uh, uh, provokes melee mm. attacks opportunity. Okay, so if you're engaged, do you get... Like if you're shooting the one engaged with you, are you not penalised in any way? I think the answer is... I don't think I want to say the answer is no. I don't think it did in this game, I think it just uh, it provo uh, provokes attacks opportunity if you did raise attacks and bully range to somebody. Okay. So. Interesting. If I remember right. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, if, sure So if you try and shoot him, he will he has a free go you. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird, because then does that provoke? I mean, I could just guard the step away from right now and stop that to happen. It's weird, right? Yeah. It's yeah, weird. Guard the step, actually, and then... I just shoot the hell out of this guy in the corner. Uh, which one? Sorry, left or right? Uh, right one. The one that Kay. looks healthy. Okay. The one yeah. that looks healthy. Keep the the, the done in one for like go to come in and cough up. Okay. That's the plan. We'll uh, maybe try and knock it out. Ah, uh, guarded steps. So I was going to throw that. I can't do that. Uh, nope. I'll just I'm what out. Da da. Probably for the best. Uh, yeah. Oh, that hits. No, oh, yeah. Fourteen fury. Some fury. Um, let's see. Fourteen. I need you to roll a d one hundred. Oh yeah, concealmente. Yep. Nicely done. Is done. It is done. What well, damn? I probably should have actually done my concealment because I've got that. Mm. It's a good one. You don't. I don't think you're going to need it against these guys. I'm going to be honest. I think. I, I think, think you're mean, good. I could just basically ensure the fact that I never got hit. Mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> yeah. I think you're you're good. I think the the zone boys were a bit more deadlier than these guys. Um. <laughs> right. Too worried. La 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 la. Go. What's the plan? I am going to go down, so I'll be using... So 15 to get to the bottom? To go there. Yeah. Cool, I'll move you over. Whip bam <coughs> He is round the corner. Here. Okay. What the idea that? But probably have to shoot. shoot I mean, we we're in comms, so... We could discuss it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of. I just went with a logical here. mind if you um, went straight to it, but this takes really shot. <laughs> it's like maybe. Then you ambushing bastards. Um. What are you talking about? The left, the more the one on the left's more beat up. You said. Yes. Yes. You see them. I I cannot. I can't shoot them. I can sort of partially see the one on the right, but. Trying to think what my next move is from here. It isn't just walking into. Um, just point at the, at the van in the right. You can see keep in mind, it would have like, it, uh, it would have done its reaction. I'll give you that much, Colin. They've already taken its the reaction. The one in the right has, so the one that you can partially see, can't react again because they only get one per turn, right? So. Okay. I did react this time. I've used further that. 10, so I've used 25 feet, so I've still got 35 feet of movement. Um, oh no, you're you're completely right, sorry. Like, Nico, you're actually completely right. It does have its reaction. I could round. move as an action to get through without triggering it, or I could... I could just move through and take the shots, because we do remember I get plus You're four. You're also quite a chunky boy anyway, right? Like Yeah, I get plus four from AC uh, when, from provoking uh, provoking attacks of opportunity 
from th leaving a threatened square. So this you're not threatened by these guys either. You've got a better AC than me. Like so, would 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 my moving through this count as leaving a threatened square, or would it count as entering a threatened square? Uh, it would be uh, entering for one. Right. Uh, so if I were to. So, oh, I'm, over here yeah, I'm sorry. so sorry. measure it with the actual measure it with the actual measuring tool, Colin, visually yeah. for people, so we can then answer the questions because it'll be so easier. Like, right. Measure. It. Can, um, you not, can you do it square by square for us? Like in, in the way that your character would need to move. Nope. Because that's you moving up to an over one. So. Yeah. You'd have to move up one or over one. Can you see? I would have to go over. You one. can't just jump over there like you're a knight in a chessboard. So is it that way or is it that way you're going? Um, is it? I thought it consumed exactly the same amount of movement. It does, but it is important for like and on and. Excellent. Okay. Like, uh, um, it's always going to be important, so always do it this way. Is fundamentally the rule. Okay, it's, okay. It like yes, that's ten it. feet, and yes, that's ten feet, but that's not a legal move. That is a legal move, and just like that is a legal move. Um. So is it is it forward one or is it diagonal one? Flip a coin. Forward one heads, <laughs> i.e. one, and uh, diagonal tails, i.e. two. Okay. That's R one Because I don't know, I don't really So diagonal. Diagonal, so shoot. I mean. And shoot. So what, what do I take? Nothing. Nothing? Oh, okay. They really couldn't whereas, the whereas before, you would have. Right, because you just started to enter. Anyway. Uh, Can you see how that's? Yeah, so probably makes more sense to run to his side and start running like that arc. Yeah, so th that yeah. works out anyway. Cool. Um, that leaves me with a standard action. Which one's the left one that was looking more beaten up? Uh, it's hard to tell now. I'm not saying that. I was gonna say it's hard to tell now. They both look as beat up as each other. Okay, I'm going to. Going to I mean, use. one's been shot by like a fucking Corona laser rifle, right? So, mm. wow, terrible illness. Um, mm. I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to try and use my vampire voice. Right. Uh, it has to be a creature, right? It has to be one of them. Mm -hmm. So, do I recognize either as the one or the? I mean, I know Grays tend to be both naked and very similar looking, so hard to wow. tell apart. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if there is enough to tell them apart, except one seems to have bullet holes in it, and the other one seems to be on fire. Okay, bullet boy. I'm going to look okay, at... Okay, so that's at the left. Left. A bullet boy, I'm going to look at... And I'm going to... Like, not not raise my gun at him just yet, but like have my gun just partially held up as if to raise further. And okay. I'm going to speak to him using my vampire voice. Um, oh. So that I don't think he needs to fully understand me to get at least the, th the thrust of what I'm doing and so that I get a plus one to it. And I'm going to say, um, what should I say? What should I say? Something like, uh, you know. They're alive, they're coming with me. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, 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 in fact, I'm not going to say it like that, but I'll say something. I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, yeah, okay, okay, right, I'm gonna say, I'll see what, I'll see how, see what I roll, that's 33, and I'll say, surrender, and I won't shoot you. <laughs> Just keep it simple. And what's the, um, complex ones to them, I don't think. what's the checkpoint on this? How do we know that works? Um, this, the same works the same as any intimidate check. There are no specific rules. It's just I get a plus one and I can do it to creatures that don't understand me. Okay. If, if it's not a complex request. But if right. it can understand me, I can give a complex request. It doesn't define complex particularly. Mm -hmm. 
but it gives like that simple ones would be like go away or don't hurt him. That's the example. Yeah. It gives. Doesn't give an example of complex. So. Let's see. Let's see. Um, because that's probably a good enough rule, right? Probably a good enough rule because it's a pretty good one. Hmm. Question is, can these things be timidly? Hmm. Indeed. So I think if that's the case. It's weird that there's no like thing that would be against it. You'd think it'd be against like a will save or like a a counterpoint, like a sense motive or something, right? Strange. It just says bonus to intimidate check to equal to the necromatic graft. You can also use intimidate to bully a creature without sharing its language. If yeah. you succeed at the check, you can convey a simple request along with the bully. Let's look at uh, intimidate as a skill and we'll see if it actually has a a use for it because maybe it does. Maybe it's the it one ability. This was dramatically more effective on them than it was on a skittermander. Oh yeah. Yeah, which is I mean that fits with the thematic though, right? I don't use our yeah. scary people. Right, intimidate. Bully or demoralize. Uh, demoralize. Uh, I guess you need to tell me what one you're doing, right? Because they're very specifically two different things according to this. Under intimidate. So I guess it's demoralize, right? Or um. bully, language of pain, it must spend. No, your thing said bully, right? That's yeah. part of it. Okay, so. Good. You can use your Intimidate to bully a creature to temporarily change its attitude to helpful on the Diplomacy page 139. This is a language dependent, sense dependent ability, but you can do that without... I can do a cross mm -hmm. language, but yep. it's long and simple. Because of Amp Voice. And you can spend at least one minute conversing with... You must spend at least one minute conversing with the creature. Does your ability take on that? Uh, it says you can convey a single simple request, such as go away or depart him. Right, does it say what, and it's a standard action to use it, or does it not say that? It doesn't say, but I thought, I thought as a check it would be. I uh, apparently bullying needs you to talk to them for, you must spend a minute conversing with them, I guess, but that's weird if you're able to do it. If I'm, I can do it without being able to talk, yeah, because it's yeah. across line, so I can't talk with this thing for a the minute. The DC so of this check. Like this would apply? The DC of this check is either... 10 plus your opponent's total intimidate skill bonus, or 15 plus 1 to 5, uh, 1 to 1.5 times uh, the CR, whichever is greater. Uh, and obviously, it tells you what happens on a success. And that the change in attitude lasts for 1d6 times 10 minutes. So, yeah, I guess that means you can do this as like a, an action. But again, Fucking vague rules, because obviously Bully's very specifically laid out in the on page one four two. Um, as a thing, let's see. Ninety seven of Armory. Uh, looking out for Vamp voice. Okay, I'll have a quick. And it it wouldn't. The I mean, it doesn't explicitly say you don't need to talk to them for a minute. But if it applies to creatures you can't talk to, yeah, then it surely must. Um. I guess though, unless it's the scary voice for a minute, that's terrifying. Um, but then it's it's the follow a simple command. So I, I think we're I think what we're doing here is legit. Yeah, like I feel like it's okay, but at the same time, I just want to have a quick read of that voice. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, most of them, blah blah blah. Vamp voice enhancement intimidate checks to to necrograft. You can use your intimidate. To because you're without your language, if you see the check, it can be a simple quest, blah blah blah. Without language. It can't be targeted again. See, no, I'm reading this and the more I'm inclined to think it doesn't change the time requirement for the base intimidate check. It just changes your commitment level to it, right? Like for the language requirement. So, I don't know if you can bully. In, a, in a, like a combat, I think that needs to be done out of combat. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, because I, I don't, I, you don't, don't have a minute, obviously, on your turn. So I don't think you can use Bully in combat, buddy. That needs to be the, if you capture this thing, then Bully it when it's captured. To get it to be more helpful. I just feel like it would definitely say you can use this as a standard action in place of an in, like the bully intimidate. I feel like it would state that. Okay. Right. Ha. Huh. And the only thing it does is let you skip the need for um, shared language. Yeah, and gives the bonus. Um, that's very strange then. Um, okay, because I don't understand why it still requires a minute if it allows me to issue a simple command to a creature that can't understand me. Why no, am I I'd... talking to it for a minute? No idea, but it definitely doesn't change anything about Bully's text at all. Um, or demoralize, right? Um, it's okay, it's fine. Um, Let's see... To me, it sort of read like it was. I feel like you can. You, I think demoralize can work in combat because it says as a standard action. Okay. So if you're looking uh, at one four two, on the core rule book, one four two. Bully takes a minute and demoralize as a standard action. So I think that's pretty clear cut of how intimidate works. But I don't think I can use demoralize then. How so? Because uh, I can't. I, so, I get, I would get, I can do it, and I would get an intimidate bonus because it's to all intimidate checks, right? My bonus works. Yep. It's only once I can do it. Enhancement bonus to intimidate all. checks. Yep. yep. And then it says you can but also use intimidate to build a creature without sharing a language. Yeah. So I so think it's demoralize a creature without sharing a language. Yeah. So um, but it is demoralize. demoralizing them is only sense dependent though. Not language dependent. <laughs> So, I mean, you could yeah, you could just do the moralize, but you could do with that. You just have the thematic of just skipping in that here. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if if you want it to be, I mean, I'm still using my vampire voice because I want to yeah. get bonus. Yeah. Yeah. If we wanted to demoralize, then and because uh, that seems like a legal move, we can do it right, and it doesn't say it needs to be language dependent, which is fine. Uh, it, perhaps yeah. that's why it doesn't specify it works for demoralize because it wouldn't need to work. Yeah. For um, just DC check, oh yeah, equal to 10, plus area. 0 points to intimidate. Uh, do these things even have an intimidate skill? Let me have a quick nosy at that. Duration of one round. So the duration increases by one round for every five by which the result exceeds the DC. So the DC... Right, so you rolled a 32, right? And is that 32... 30. a 33, right? So it's 33. Yeah, I am using my vamp voice for this. So okay, 33. and the DC of this check is equal to 10 plus your opponent's total intimidate skill bonus, right? Or 15 plus 1 times or 1.5 oh, times. Oh wait, I always get... I misread the vamp voice as well. It doesn't say only when you're using it, so I would get it at all times. Okay, so I'm not using it. Unless you want me to have used it just because I declared I did. Uh, what do you mean, sorry? For vamp so, voice. just rereading vampire voice. A vampire voice grants an enhancement bonus to intimidate checks equal to the next graph's mark. But it doesn't. Then what it all goes on to say is like targeted once per. But it doesn't say that intimidate bon the bonus to the check. It doesn't say that's part of it. It literally says target of a bullying attempt by a recipient of the vampire voice. Yeah. It can't be targeted by the ability for that again. So that's specific to bullying. Yeah. So it's specifically if you use that one specific use of it. So I would just gain a passive plus one, so we should prove Yeah, because you you can't bully, you're only demoralizing. I will, I will, I will, I will yeah. add in the passive plus one at some point then. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's see. So CR of this thing is that you're going to succeed uh, by a significant amount. So let's say it's 17. Uh, so you've succeeded how many over 17 with 33? 10. <laughs> 16, right? So it's 33 plus 1. So 16 
uh, is what we're taking away. Sorry, 17. 17 is what we're taking away from 33. Fucking hell, maths. 17 is the number it has. That was the DC, and you've right, rolled yeah. over that. So, so it'd be 15 plus 1, but we doesn't matter because it's 5s anyway. So it's two lots of 5s. Right? So you get two fives, so is the first five free? Uh, if you succeed, the target's for one round and increase forever. Yep, so three rounds. It's shaking. There we go. Look at us. That's where the ten is on my head. Uh, now, <laughs> now the annoying thing. I need you to... Um, I need you to... to do the thing. The D100. Okay. Because uh, I assume this is still in effect, so... Okay, that so that was an interesting round, right? Because it doesn't get affected by it. Oh. Yep. Finally, its thing comes into play. Because it says attacks or effects. Um, I mean, it, it has to be an effect. Yeah, surely. I would assume so. Because um, it's a demoralizer you're trying to do is for shaking, right? So, with that voice. Right, okay, cool. So, you. Scream vampirically at it, I guess. Uh, you've done move, isn't that any quick actions? Uh, I have nothing. Um, I will end my turn. Cool. Weird. What's happening in Hello. the spaceship? Weird. Where is everyone? <laughs> um, Do you ask this over comms? Uh, location yeah. check. Shuttle. It all began. Pardon? <laughs> Where we came in. Where it all began is what I heard. Yeah, exactly yeah. what I said. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> he's trying to remember how he gets back. <laughs> no, he's trying to work out where he phases if he just falls through yes, the floor. That is exactly it, yes. Yep, and I now have to fucking work that out as well. I would like to phase through the floor, Ryan. I figured you might. So, I need to work out where you phase through the floor. Give me a second. Yeah. I'll just make a fucking point of reference chart. <laughs> right, so. Yo, I'm fly, right? 7, like 12. Ocean please fly, right? please stop talking. 7 and 12. <laughs> 7 and 12. Yes, I now know where you go. Do you want me to cool. put you where you go? Yes, please. Fucking hell. Oh, right next to the broken door. Yeah, but... Um, fixed. So... <laughs> no. Uh, you're no longer squeezing, you can ungrab your hands yourself. Um, but, uh, but because of this nonsense, I need to... Um, I do this. Wabam! As that stands up, as you fall down. Oh, I'm gonna punch it. Uh, cool, let me just actually give it a turn order, though, so that I can... Yeah, right! <laughs> another zombie. Uh, where are we here? Where's the button I need to roll? We're bam. Cool. Uh, I'll chuck that in for next round. Uh, cool. And it's going to get a free swipe on you because you, you disturbed it. And just a wee cheeky swipe. It's gonna do nothing, though, let's face it. No. No. We knew this. Yeah. And then I'll punch it. Fixed the door, the stuff oh. behind it. And that's KAC, and that's definitely a hit. Oof. 21 bludgeoning as I step on it. Yup. <laughs> uh, cool, that's my turn. Nice. Just big red foamy punch as you know, you dislocate part of his jaw. <laughs> More zombies, <laughs> Captain. Ah, um. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that was slightly, slightly broken. <laughs> Are you um? If only there was an easier way to get through these doors. Are you done, yeah. buddy? I'm done. Yes. Cool. I'm gonna skip there. Uh, you see, um, this happening. Uh, weird. So the one on the left just jumps through the wall and just keeps running. Oh my God. <laughs> so you just see a grey 
weird. Just zip through the walls <laughs> across the corridors. Um, Sorry, I muted myself. <laughs> I was shouting Grail on the move. <laughs> um, then they can phase. So it seems. <laughs> Am I a grey? And then a... Uh, Unlikely. This one um, looks at both of you, the one that's left in this room. And it looks at a Zora, because uh, it seems to have not liked being burnt. And it does... If that's going to work. Yeah, it's probably a will save. Let me just double check it, because why doesn't it have a description? It's literally a blank ability. Fucking hell. Let's see. Is it this a it's these, It is. It is one of the, the psychic moves. I'll go look it up in the book, and uh, it's definitely going to be will, let's face it, but we'll mind thrust. So, for this one, it is... I will save uh, for half damage, apparently. Okay. Hi -ya. Nicely done, nicely done, and it is. Where are we here? Yeah, this is a ball of the damage of. It's just not like six. Ten. Ten. It's not that high level one, though. It's not like Zig's murder beams. Um, okay. This one is like the level 1 equivalent of it. 16 damages to you, buddy. Well, bam. That just pushes out with its mind to smack you with... You know. It literally says, You divine the most vulnerable portion of your opponent's mind and overload it with a glut of psychic information. This makes Zig even worse than he has been. Well, wait, I, I'm, I just... Oh, 16 is 8 damage I've taken. Uh, uh, no, it just goes damage, right? It just says damage. It doesn't specify like it, it skips anything, right? It would I be don't stamina. Know for the save for half damage, sorry. Uh, so I, I ah, so it's eight. I was going to say, yeah, it's eight. Yeah, yeah it's eight. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, Actually, the more that goes up in levels, the scarier that gets. Not just the damage, I mean, but like you get like fatigued and stuff with this, and exhausted and fatigued. Dear Christ, that's a scary spell. Um, yes. It's a very good spell as well. It's a very good. It's pretty much the the standard spell for like a mystic. It's their it's their main bread and butter. Uh, but yeah, he does that, and then a. Uh, it just zips through the wall. Mate, get to Alison. Uh, Zora. You've been mind whammy. <sighs> I'll shake my head and then I'll sigh and I'll be like, spit up the water fat. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, they're probably long gone. Oh, uh, maybe uh, five. Uh, yeah, I'll go up. Damn it. I've got five more feet. Damn it. Uh, no sign of them. Imagine they misstepped and fell out as well. <laughs> Just to, floating in space. I'm going to swap to Graviton, so I'm one of three. Okay, yeah. And then, uh, I'm done. Okay. Right. Uh, this thing. Uh, where the hell is the map? There we go. Right, so we're back up here, and uh, oh, sorry, actually, it won't. Uh, I'll just click a button. I'll just add this because I've got the. I don't know, use my standard there. I thought that I was thinking. No, I don't think so. Yeah, so I'll just click a button. Carry on. Okay. Um, what the hell is that? Eh, <laughs> twenty uh, percent concealment. Oh, look at you. And you're copying my moves. Once <laughs> um, it gets filtered, it's 50%. Oh. That's nice, that's really nice, by the way. <laughs> I can debrief field. Yeah. Or debris, if you want to be wrong. Yeah, debris field. The debris field. Um, right, anyway. 
back on the other character sheets I have open. I, <coughs> this thing looks at you and then does a full attack against you, buddy. 27 or 30? You're unmuted. Is that X? Sorry. Or X. <laughs> you will. Uh, 27 or 30 will. Uh, the 30 hits. Okay, okay. This was your KAC, yeah. Cool. Yeah. 15 blushing. 15 blushing. Yep. Um, it's just wailing on you. <laughs> try it. So that gets to my uh, shield. Uh, and that uh, is 14. Just a random initiative thrown out there as well for one of the, ar one of the arms. <laughs> one of the arms has joined the fight. I don't know what's happening there. That's fine. Cool. None of us know what's happening in this fight. That's why we have to have fights every now and then to remember that there's a rule system attached to this story. Um, uh, Lyco, you're in the room alone. Yes, indeed. He. Um, he will leave that room and say, uh, <laughs> uh, so, where, where do you want me, Cap? <laughs> uh, no sign of him upstairs yet. Weird, can I get round to where you are? <laughs> no, I was muted again. Excellent. I need to remember I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, not through the door that's broken. Just pray it open, mate. Get a strong point. Uh, so as a I'll try another way. Again. So I will go. Sort of thing. Okay. I mean, you can move in stages. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he's just kind of just ran this. So that'll be 35. I mean, there's no sign of cap and no sign of a. Uh, yeah, doors. Uh, and I'm going to try and go through the door. Door's locked. <laughs> Is it locked? As in, you go to press open, it just goes. Eh, eh. Oh, yeah. Get out. Yeah. Um, is there like a, yes, yeah, so there's a button I take it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a, there's like a, a little kind of commie panel type doodly do, as Cal would say. Oh no, I'm never going to be able to successfully hack something, am I? You could hotwire it though, right? Engineering is the same as with computers. But like, you don't have anything computers wise to hack it. That's true. Right, um, whereas ripping cables out and flicking them against each other might work. Right, um... Whereas, keep in mind, Weird has a built-in AI and a computer. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna shoot it. The panel on the wall? Yeah. Okay. He's trying to go for the good old-fashioned... I'm just doing that. I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in KAC-10. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. Uh, so yeah, you destroy the, the control panel. I assume that didn't do anything beneficial. Uh, the, the, the control panel's broke. What I'll do is, I'll do a wee red cross through this door. Um, and mutter under my breath. Well, I knew that was a long shot. Uh, <laughs> That's the fall machine. I like the... It's just the, the captain's approach. It just trying to rip open the door like this through the other room. And then like her going, Oh, it's locked. Bang. Um, I know, I know. I'm tackling the, the problem head on. We're yeah. terrible. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is oh, okay. I'm going to return to over there mm -hmm. and just sort of wait and see if they come back down this way. Okay, yeah. Uh, and I would say that, like, I'll, yeah, I'll end my turn and I'll sort of see where all other stuff's going on. Uh, I'm going to wait by the double door down here and see if I can catch them. Uh, right. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> oh man. Right. I am going to. Let me guess. Punch it. I'm actually not sure I will because the grey went <laughs> that way, didn't I? Sure. Yeah. It ran like kind of weirdly diagonally. Yeah. 
that way. Like, I think you saw, like, this kind of motion. Yeah. <laughs> so, could I just run through that? I, I can move you into a space you could legally get to if you want, yeah? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, we're done. Uh, <laughs> I guess that was, what, 10 feet of movement? Uh, yes, yes it was. 15, 20. Oh, hello, cheeky. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's, ah. That's it, there you go. Where the fuck's the grey? It's so funny, just the jank map movements. You have no yeah. idea how long it took me to get the grid that's on this map already to line up with the goddamn grid of the, the game as well, by oh, the way. Yeah. I know those things. Yep. I know those things well. It wouldn't have been so bad if there wasn't the second layer of the deck to also line up. Yeah. Oh, pain. Painful. Uh, anything else, buddy? Uh, that's everything for me. Cool. Uh, right. So. Pops out there. And uh, it targets, targets you with a cheeky with them. Main thrust. Oh. Uh, Ooh. So a, oh, a cheeky will save for me, buddy. Uh, wisdom's uh, will. Well, yes. yes, this isn't 5e. I actually called it a will save in my 5e game. Uh, right, so half damages for you. So let me roll some. Well, it makes more damages. sense as a save than wisdom does, though. Yeah, yeah I think so as well, because wisdom's a, a lot dumb stat. Don't make a great deal of sense as saves. That, there's irony to wisdom's a dumb save. Uh, stat anyway. Uh, so three damage, I guess. Oh no. Yep. No. Take him. Cool. And then uh, it'll just uh, bugger off, I think. Um, yep. And, uh, right. Which way is it buggering off, sorry? Uh, it just seemed to, like, hide back the way it came. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Um. It's hard to tell on that map, but obviously you can probably guess from the laws of simil like like um, what do you call it symmetry, yeah. right? That there's something like you know you can probably guess that. Uh, that's not a harder a judgment call. I do love that you just like. So here's the other question I need to ask you. Right? Technically, do I get a free hit on you because you moved away from my guy, my zombie? Yeah. Right. Okay. Let me do that retroactively. Nope. So nope. we're good. I didn't think it would hit, but it's still worth... Because crits still happen, right? So... Uh, right, I need to do the other grey now. So, we bam. It's going to pop over like... Hey you! And it's going to go... To Lyco. And it's going to do the same thing. we bam! Can you imagine the... Shamefulness of mind thrusting lipo. What a what a thing to do, the person. Um, so I need to roll well, well Yep. Uh, I remembered what that was called. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh so it's only a uh, four damage. Four damage. That is me rounding it down so you know. Okay. And then it decides I'm only an eighty six stamina now, guys. <laughs> and then it runs away back in that room. Uh, and then it's Sora. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know, I just um, <laughs> more. So I'm still just going to run away off the door. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to check this door. Uh, okay, yeah, I can't remember what doors. If you can see through it, I think Thingy's hacked it, right? Um. I can see for it for the Like, one. there's probably. a. D yeah, it's probably just a mistake, though. Um, yeah, yeah, I think but I can't remember. See where. The engine room, the door you just faced through. Weird. Wait for him to come like, back to us. Yes. Did you unlock that door? Or did you just face through the wall? I think you just faced through the wall. Uh, I just faced through. Yeah. Like, I don't I, need door. I know you opened the, the, the other door in the cargo bay. I know you opened yeah. that, but you didn't. You unlocked it but didn't open it, I know that much. Yeah. Um, 
but I don't think you've opened anymore. Okay, cool. So I think everything else we've opened except the one door. So Lyco's in a room with one unlocked door that isn't open, and every other door is either open or still locked. Cool. As far as I'm aware. Or as far as you're aware. Cool. This one's still open. That's front. Yeah. Hey. Doesn't mean to say you can't rip it open, though. I mean, I'm not going, I'm just going to run for this. In fact, yeah. Yeah, the one on the other side of the room's open, yeah. Oh, you should learn to phase two doors. Uh, I mean, it's the end thing in this fight, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're right. I'm going to rip open my still screw it. Why not? It's like a it's... fucking sci fi version of a Scooby Doo scene, isn't it? <laughs> Fab, we're going to rip it. That's just a waste of time. Hey. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, oh, you're just so brave doing all your move in one go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. And... <clears throat> I'll look really, really angry. I kind of wish that uh, Weird left slime like Slimer. Because then you'd know what walls he'd went through. Yeah, it would be hell. <laughs> if you could do that in the future. Right. I'm, I'm gonna, right, he's, he's a slow boy, okay? There I must... was hearing about all that squeezing. Mm. But I mean, I know he's a slow boy, so I'm just going to go for the furthest away places. Okay. And hope he's no fun that, because mm -hmm. he's a slow boy. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> Assumption. Assumption is the mother of all fuck ups. That's fine. <laughs> the Moab. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, is that you done? Oh, fuck up. Cool. Uh, right, well, I guess that's its turn. <laughs> Michael. Oh, no, the allergies have returned. Ugh. Oh, no. I would try to mute, but fair warning, that may not be a successful strategy. If you used all your non-sneezing dialogue to tell us that you might sneeze. All my dialogue is non-sneezing. Anyway, right, yes, it's my go. Uh, so, any thoughts what I should do? <laughs> go get him, partner. Go cuff him. Cuff him up. Oh, you've been mind thrust by one, right? So you know there's still one. Well, I know there's one sort of around here, presumably. Uh, uh, so I will use part of my move. Go here. It's fucked off already. Um. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> It's capturing the feel of the greys, though. Get out, bush, take it. Um, um, walks into a grey bat mitzvah. No. Um, fuck it, I'm going back up the stairs, right? Let's see what it's going to take to do that. Oh. Right, remember, you can do... So, that, so you can do that to get. Right, so I, can do, I can do that. <laughs> so it would take me 25 then. So Which I'll move you up. Leave me with start, uh, use 25. So right, leave me. me with 25. So I'll chuck you upstairs, right? Okay. So you're upstairs. Up and at them. Mm -hmm. um, and I will gingerly move here. And then I will swear under my breath, and I will <laughs> take a look at this door. Yep, same thing. Uh -uh. Locked. Locked it. But the one um, I've slept behind you is open. Oh yeah, hence the... right. Hence the vision. I will, with the remainder of my 20 movement... <laughs> So, so ridiculous. Twenty remaining movement, rather. Go to there. Oh, hi. 
<laughs> Do I make his reflex safe to see if you shoot each other? <laughs> oh dear. Considering how many stocks and starts I did, I probably wasn't moving back correctly. Uh, that's also just for the, the lols. Uh, any dialogue between the two of you? Uh, probably just a resigned. Uh, Captain. Frost. No sign. Not here yet either. Things, man. Ah, uh, little bastards, dude. I had this image of like you almost SWAT teaming it into that corridor together, and then be like, "Fuck them." <laughs> 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 you wee sci-fi uh, theremin music playing, right. obviously. Yeah. So my my uh, thingy is over. Okay. So I'm not going to do any actions here. We are going to teach us how to. His through was, and by that, he needs to stop putting all the technology. It <laughs> Where's your dealer, mate? Where's your dealer? How much is it worth to you? Uh, <laughs> mate, I'm bad for both of you, your captain. Alright, I've got. I can get royalty free theremin music, apparently. I don't know. You can get a theremin. <laughs> yeah, get free theremin. I wouldn't mind a free theremin, yeah. Can I have one? Um, <laughs> so if you're watching at home and you want to get me a theremin, I'll play that during the game if you want. I'll do it, so help you're me. you're watching at home... Hello? Oh, so yeah. Hello. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so my, my, my is, is over. I don't see any standard action for me to do here. More movement, I guess? I could, but do I want to take the risk of further exposing myself? Probably not. No, I think I will hold up the rear there, because who knows, it might immediately reappear behind us as soon as Cap goes around that corner. That's true. So yeah, my, my turn shall be... It's <laughs> 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 so ridiculous. The theremin should be illegal except in very rare circumstances. Agreed. So... It's fine for the alien circumstances. Weird. DF. <laughs> yes. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna go. Please measure before you move. It scares me when you don't measure. Yeah. I'll go. One, two, three, four. Okay. So can I squeeze you down a bit for that, just so as we we can just slightly more we can just do a slightly more precise movement. So you, okay. it's just because you end up clipping through walls. That's all. So I think you can just place yourself there, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good fucking fat joke. Clip through walls. Uh, no, I'll, I'll pop you there. I don't mind putting you there. It's just if you stood here and were bigger, you'd clip through like this wall. <laughs> so I'm gonna. So I moved down here. Can't see that bastard. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna run through here. Cool. The last movement. Okay. Cool. So I'll pop you in there and I'll make you big, right? Yep. Cool. So you're in there. I'm gonna make you big. <sighs> And then we know what's going to happen. Oh, fucking zombies! Yep, so I'm going to have to move it out of your square, because you're a big boy. It gets to go there, and then it gets to go. So I'm going to just... Let's see... Let me click on the fucking token again, there we go. And then... How gubbed are you actually getting? <sighs> no, he's fine. He's a, he's, he's a tough boy. Oofed, oofed. Let's move that one up. And I'll yeah, pip that because it's because it's obviously bitching. I'll give it a wee blue no, pip. Are we, are we red pips easier to see? Um, so, and then and then it's free cheeky attack against you. Uh, it's not doing anything on my screens, so we'll wait and see what happens in a second. Uh, I'm going to press one button to punch him. Uh, okay, there we go and. Bam, obviously doesn't do anything. No, it should go, buddy. Bunch of bunch. Yep, yep, yep. Chenzi, you won't do anything. I, no, no, it does not. Cool. Let's be quiet, let each other help us then. Yup. <laughs> uh, right, what I'll do is. Yeah, okay. Next. So. Man, what even happens now? Like, it's just fucking like hide and seek we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Go 
one damn it, is it annoying? <laughs> I need to do hidden measurements for like the first time in forever. Um okay. Hidden measurement o'clock. Right, what have we got? Can it do that? Probably not. Um Right, so Okay, cool. So Lyco Can you remember the attack for it was? It's best we don't think about that. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm disgusted. I'm pretty sure I'm coming. Yeah, Lyco, we're bam. And I'll do some damage. We're bam. Disgusting. Shameful and immoral. Mm. Um, <coughs> roll my will save. Yup, yup. Oh man. Yup, yup. Actually, 9 damage this time. Yeah. Unfortunate. And then every thing jumps back down the stairs. So I'm now on do seventy seven. Stop. Mm. That's okay. I've had worse. Yep, yep. And then Man, what even what else happens here? Like Can I... Okay, more hidden measurements. Okay, I think I can do that. I think I can get away with that nonsense. We're bam. And I can see you. Just. Which means I get to go against you, Zora. We're bam. Where is the stop grey You. Bastard. <laughs> you. Bastard. <laughs> How dare you. This wee slippery. Why kill it? <laughs> How do you capture it? You roll a will save point. first, buddy. And I'll do my yeah, damage yeah, yeah. as well. Um, right. Right. Oh, nicely done. You do get to half it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it had to use all of its movement to get there, so it can't move. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, talking. Right, okay, cool. Finally. Finally. Right, so right. I need to do a check now. And it is... Where the hell are the stats on this one? Mm, we're bam. Yup. You hear a wrenching metal. Weird. I don't like that. No. Unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, so it's gonna go... Two, three, four... Five, six. Or bam. There we go. And that's fine. And then we the one in the room with you, buddy. Right? Yep. Nothing. No. Just petting you, really. Understandably. Yeah. It's obviously like in your big shiny spellcaster ages plus plus. Uh, Zora. Okay. Uh, You're being your mind's being addled. Thoughts uh, of failure pour in. Yeah, I did think, yeah, I might just try and trap him and then hope the <laughs> like we can get him. This is gonna be one of these soap opera moments when he's standing on a fucking staircase and you say, Oh he fell. <laughs> Seems like the best idea, right? Mm. Uh, I'll try and trap. With gravity to surge. I can just about see where you're talking about, so it's over here, isn't it? But actually, uh, sorry. 
Uh, I'm gonna move forward too fast. I'm going to. Okay. Hey. So. Mm, that's a dear idea. That's forward one. Forward one. Sorry. 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 Saddle. I don't think you can use this. Because you need it to be a full action. Do you know? Uh, I don't think so. Not with it's a standard action with gravity, so I think let me click. It just says no, it's as a full action. You can. So is it as a. Let me see. Let me double check. Maybe do. Don't know. As a full action, you can put. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Uh, like. Uh, you right, can. So maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe, move, right, maybe, think, right, maybe I don't want to move then. Like, yeah. Like maybe you want to stay there. <laughs> What's this range again? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. So I think that's enough. Actually. Yep. Right, so I'll do it then. I'm definitely going to give it some cover against that. Right, because this is like a targeted thing. Some cheeky wee cover, because you can barely see it. Well, I'll be three or three, right? Because that's actually important. So I'll be doing the full. Yeah. One last time. Um, uh, okay. Interesting. So drag it towards me. If I, uh, right, so what's the maths involved here? What do we need to do? Right, so... What was the other one, right? Let me see what my tag was up here. I think it was like plus 11, and then it was like... I think it was like 11, I think. So it was something plus 8, right? So it was my KAC yeah. plus 8, right? I'm sure that was what it was last time. So... so it was 10 it. plus... So it's plus 18 basically, this was a d20 plus 18 is what I'm rolling, is that right? For you? I don't know. Um, but for me it was a 15 plus stuff. I am... I don't remember, were you good at mobility? <laughs> um. There have been so many abilities. I've got a lot of bellies, sorry. It's okay. Instead of stand for the fire, right, that one instead of stand for the fire. So you're just, just, you're substituting out, you can do what, an attack roll plus one, basically. You could just do your unarmed attack plus one, because that would work out to be your charisma. Cool. Right? Uh, but that's against my what? I'm sure it was yeah. like a bunch of stuff, right? So. Oh, I right, I'll check one. Mm -hmm. uh, before you go that far, do you want to do a D100 and we'll just see how much of this is worth it? Uh, it's yeah. It's Let's do that first. It saves us having to math. Yep, you still, we need to go through the, we need to go through the process, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, right, quickly, actions in combat, where is it? That's a trip uh, you're doing. Two, four, four. So it's a KAC plus 8, right? Combat with a standard action, and make a melee roll against the opponent's CAC plus 8, yep, effect. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, so roll your unarmed attack and add 1. Or your natural weapons, or whatever it's called. Add one. And we'll see if it beats the total that you're up against for this. Because I've got the okay. maths on my side. Nope. It does not breach. Damn. Sadly. Anything happen on a partial? Nope. Okay, okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, I've got 50% concealment now. I guess. Yeah, that's cool. Remember that, please, because I forgot. I will actually put a pip on my for concealment, I guess. I don't know what that would be. Yeah, yeah so. you can find something. Maybe the wee wavy lines for dodging, right? Um, that I normally use. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, right. Ghost. Uh, that has done what it needs to do. Michael. Me. 
So okay. cap, the, I guess the bass oh. of the music really went up <laughs> when the cat was doing stuff. Attack at main thrust. Uh, it would be a spell. So yeah, right. Uh, I can you roll a one one hundred? No, because we're we're way past that. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to remember about that. Okay. I think can you can I take that damage. Well, why don't you ask Cap? Say again, sorry. Should I rush ahead of you? I mean, not. I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah. Like, try and catch that bastard before he gets away. Okay. Um. Careful. These I legs. Get him, Lou. Uh, <laughs> these legs. Don't these. Don't these hands. That would help. These oh. legs. Right. Um. Now, let me just check something. <laughs> let me just check something. No, I would still take uh, thingies as a result of shooting. Okay, so I will. I could. Could. Trick a cat and shoot at them, but then I'd be in. You know, if I ran forward there, then I'd be, you know, in threat range and shooting. Which I would be fine for through the trick attack, but after that, I'd be in a difficult position. So what I'm thinking is draw my bone blade in the other hand as part of my movement and then swing at him. Sure. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay. And I want to make an attack. Cool. And entering a square that threatens yeah. doesn't provoke. No. Right? Is that right? I believe so. That's good idea, Jess. Yeah. It's just a no. bloody hope, though. So I'm going to attack with one. Cause it's just because moving around in their threatened squares does provoke. Yeah. So. Cool. Oof. I mean, I think he knows that hits. Yeah. So yeah. can you roll a d100? Um, oh Christ, yeah. Um, see if this now misses because of his bullshit. Well, if you hadn't said that. See, turn order, right. The turn order keeps on getting the way of my dice roller. No, oh, that's fine. You hit. He's a good buddy. Uh, how much damage is that total? Uh, what is it? 28. And he's staggered. If he's alive. He, um... phases away. Just seems to fall through the floor. Bastard. So he's got him alive. Just cuffed him with the legs. God <laughs> damn it. Or, God damn it. <laughs> it's got up legs. Uh, but n nice scene, though, right? Like just Lyco piling past a uh, Zora, bone blade extended, and then just swoosh, anime style flash, and the thing just falls through the floor, phasing. I'm just sort of shake my head. God damn it! Pesky me bastards. If they were uh they were a little less eager to put us to sleep, and maybe have made this a little bit less bloody, but uh I'm just drugs. gonna checkpoint something here just now. Let's hope we can take the other. Okay. Uh weird. Yes. We're down one. It's uh the captain? <laughs> no, no. Sorry. Uh, any uh, one, da one grey, one grey down. Oh, fuck. How many are there? Isabel says. <laughs> I believe we've seen two, but it's hard to say. Okay. My, my turn's over. Weird. Uh, I will. Ugh, full attack, this one. Okay. Full attack, punchy punch. <laughs> uh, let's see, KAC, both hits, yeah, so... Yes. What's that I'm looking 33. at? 33, punching. Nice. <laughs> Start smacking this thing off the wall. <laughs> Do you phase? <laughs> Do you phase? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that reminds me yeah. I take my rage out on that one. Oh dear. 
fucking Snyder verse weird here. Do you face? Uh, yeah, and it's just like fucking red foam flying everywhere across the walls. Disgusting. Um, right. So. Ah. <sighs> Where even? Right. I need to do some more goddamn measuring. So. Probably just gonna full attack you back. Let's face it. In fact, no, maybe I should just do a normal attack. Maybe it should learn. Twenty-six hit. No. Okay. And Zara. Okay. Um. God damn it! Where could? <laughs> where could it be? Oh, it's stairs. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, they go down. And depending on your perspective, they'll go up. That's a good thing about stairs, they tend to work in both directions. Yeah. You'd hope so, at least, otherwise it's more of a slide. Or an escalator. Mm. Right. So do you want to go um, down the stairs, Nico? Um, to say, sorry, my... I've seen that. Crazy yep. there. Mm -hmm. Wait. Uh, where was I? I was here. Uh, yeah, you're there. Like, um, you were 20 feet away a moment ago. Cool. Right, so 20 my feet. Um, does that match up? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Go down. To you got that much movement? Yeah, I've got 40. Okay, I will move you to the equivalent of that then, Charlie. Where's that? Where's that? Okay. Just there. Okay. Because you go downstairs again. Right, I get that. I get mm -hmm. what I was mm -hmm. I get what I was like getting to. Like, it's alright, eh? It's alright. It's not a bad wee map. <laughs> what I was looking at before, but no, I get what I was looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything yeah, else, buddy? Uh, no. Um, can I see up that corridor? Can you see up that corridor? Yes. yes. Then yes. Yeah, why not? I'll cast some wormholes. Okay. Short distance, I'll be back in case I need to run away. Right, where, like, where are you putting wormholes? Where are we going? Uh, right. A bumhole there, and I'll put a bumhole just to the top of the stairs. Oh, no, wait, actually, I can't do that, just uh, right here. Not here, so Michael can actually get them. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. Right. I have no idea where you're from. Yeah, me neither, so do you want to just tell me where your wormholes go again? Uh, wait, I'll get a pin. I'll, 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 I'll I mean, I'm going to just put some, some, some worm, wormhole circles one here. here. Right. Right, so you want one there? I want now. Okay, so. Uh, I'm gonna put in the square next to it. All right. Okay. Okay. Watch please. Thing. That will do. I'll put in the one just in front of it. That's what I'll do for you. And I'll click the button. Just so okay. The last five rounds. Okay. Yeah. I'll add that in. Right. That's that's worth knowing. Yeah. Uh, edit. A. Uh, Them hers and all allied creatures. I'll designate all allied creatures because I can do that. There we go. I go, it's in the turn order. And 
it's obviously the, technically the intersection between two, so it's... Can I do this so you can still see it? Probably not. Um, let me make it a drawing and do it. There we go, that one there. So that's like a portal like that. And... Because it's not on a square, if that makes sense. It's between two squares. Oh, I fucked that up. Um, let's move that back to token layer. Let's go back to token layer. Let's make it a drawing. That makes sense, Nico? You're muted, buddy. You're still muted, buddy. It's the most, that is the most thing. Doesn't matter, you're back with me. Does that make sense? It's the yes, intersection between two squares, not the squares yeah, themselves. Yeah. Cool. That's uh, so we can come out on the full square. Yeah. Thinking with portals and all that jazz, right? Uh, I guess that's you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So you don't have to really see people, do you, to like, designate them? You can just. Nope. Just, just see how I like pictures. So good. Such a good move. Um, I can see just fast go on. Mm -hmm. Just. Anyway. Uh, we're bam, we're bam. And let's see. There's a pretty damn good range as well, just no game back on eventually. So that's a two hundred feet right now. And I guess kill it. I'm assuming that doesn't doesn't hurt you. A nineteen on your EAC. Eh uh, no. Yeah, this thing just walks around the corner and pop shots you. You mother. <laughs> right. Uh Lyco. Um don't be afraid so of the wormhole. Don't be afraid to use the wormholes. I assume I'm not gonna get anywhere with any of these doors probably. It depends what you do to the doors. <coughs> so see if like any of these doors had a porthole, could I just go like wormhole on the outside of the door? Line of sight, right? You can see through it, door. Is that right? No, because you wouldn't, you'd see through the portal to wherever it opened. Port I mean, hole. Port hole, like uh like see like a little window, like a little like window on a door, if, if you know what I mean. If it like just needs line of sight and not line of effect, yes. Yeah, just in line of sight within range ranges is. Hey ho, I am going to go here and mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a look at that door and see if I can open it. In what way would you like to open it? Is there a button? Uh yeah, the comm panel type thing again, the the the, the, the control yeah, panel even. I'll try it. It says mm -mm. It's locked. Um, I'll try and engineer it then. Give me an engineering roll, buddy. 25's not so bad. Yeah. Uh, the door is now permanently open. At least it's open. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a wee doodle, because that's been permanent open. Uh, have used five of so I'm gonna move into the thirty-five feet point there. Okay. So I'm like there. Say, Cap, I've got one of these doors to open. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the place out. Um, um that would be a twenty. I know that you've laid the worm whole thing down, but like who doesn't know that? It's fine. Um, I'm gonna go here. Okay. Sure. Okay, okay. And uh, I will end my turn there. Okay. Weird. Yes, he said, <laughs> not muted. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. I am going to full attack him. Course. Again. Makes sense. 21 again? Nope. Uh, that's my turn. Nope, these are basically just fisticuffed. Um, uh, it's a very awkward space to swim power suit. Yeah, like, 
exploring in that was maybe not the you maybe need a a ship to ship suit and then a I'm a ground combat tank man suit like the one you're wearing just now. Um, that or just make sure all ships are big. Um, yes, I will get them big and right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll go shrink ray. I'm gonna go shrink myself. I'm big and everything else. It's much more sensible. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, I am done with that one. This is the one in the room, so that is gonna go and attack. Bam! Nope. And then where is Zora? Yeah. Bastard. Step through. Okay. <laughs> Um. Oh, stairs. Ladders. Um. <laughs> he steps through them and you go through the portal. Because you'll need to step around that. Um, yeah, go through it like that. Is that what you meant? Uh, you'll need to step around it, right? Because that's the portal. Well, um, right, so. Like, if you'd wanted the portal to be here. With obviously, there needs to be directions for these shit things like these things. So, like, we're bam and we're bam. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Then, yeah, you can go there again and now just walk forward if you wanted to have edited that slowly. Yeah, yeah it makes more sense. Mm-hmm. Like, keep thumping into. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, it's uh, five to there. Mm hmm. It's good, good, good economy. Mm hmm. Um, Ten, and then I'll go up. Okay, so twenty to get to the top, obviously in total. You've used. Mm -hmm. Let me just do a wee attack. Oh, you bastard! Where's that? Where's that? I uh, just needed you to roll a, a DC sixteen. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I know who it is. I know who it is. Let's see. Found it! Found it! <laughs> I can't be able to do it, but I found it! Where is it? Uh, office. There's an, I don't know. Uh, is this an office? Yeah. It's like an office. Yeah. Downstairs, upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. Uh, upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so difficult to know where the <laughs> fucking <laughs> day is on this map. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find my ball button and I keep on scrolling over because I told. Mm. Yeah, so three three damage. That's oh, all you get. I don't know if I can take it, but it's a hat. Fifty percent. Oh, true enough, right? Do you want me to roll a D one hundred? Oh, uh, go for it. Go for it. Yes. Wow, ah, it does. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us can play that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's so dumb, isn't it? It does. I love oh, it. It's so good. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. Anything else, buddy? Um, hmm. Got a stand up. Hmm. It's a shame you can't pull your wormholes up with you, right? To make the journey more efficient. Like, leave one like an anchor. Um. Got my stand up, but there's not much I can do. Hmm. Well, you've got um, you got a door in that room, right? You got two doors, in fact. In fact, actually, actually, can I, I can't even see it. Yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> um, I still got twenty movement, I guess. And you've got um, a door to the left and a door to the right. So, does that so opportunity stop movement? Can I still move? I mean, let's not think about that. Right. right. Let's just think about what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to the right. Okay. Uh, right, right, that's... Right. Mm. But that's not a move. It's fine. Five feet. Ten feet. So, you can stand on that thing, right? Let's go back to the start of this scene. Right? And you can go up or diagonal. Because that's a desk. 
that you were going to try and stand on moments ago. Ah. Why are we? Why are we phasing through walls? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, why are we yeah. phasing through walls? <laughs> you can't do sorry. that. You're one of the few people here that can't do that. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. I know about that. Know about that. Bless me. Ah, damn it, damn it. Oh, bye. What the hell is that? On the wall. Okay. Do you not want to attempt to one of these doors? No. I've not got a movement to pay any order. Okay. Cool. Right. This is the one with weird, and it ain't got much to go on. So. Oh, that has not popped up somewhere. So I'll click it again. Where bam? Nope. It'd be nice damage though. Nah. Um, Michael. Yes. Welcome back. I shall. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna move 20? No, 15. And, uh, of course, 3. I'm gonna try. Oh. <laughs> Can I see that? Eh, uh, no. That's just some jank line of sight problem. Right, okay. Well, because I can't see that, I'm not aware of it, so I'm going to uh, find out. In fact, let's find out. Can you see that? Let me... I need to go to your viewpoint. And I need to go to the... Uh, no, I think you can. Yeah, you can. That door's open. Okay. Yep, uh, you can. I just had to double check a couple of things, like the fucking... the boxes that are drawn to make sure it wasn't just jank. But no, so that door is open. You can see. Okay. You can see it, even. And uh, I have moved, so I can't take my full shot. But Correct. Or my thingy, or my... Um, how can I not say that word? Trick shot. But I can shoot it. Mm -hmm. There's a non fillet Boom! Uh, KAC. Uh, yes. Yes. Even yes. with bonuses from covering the walls and stuff, you still hit by quite a bit. So yeah. You want me to roll D100? Please do, buddy. Nice. Yep. You hear the, the fleshy squidge of the bullet hitting? Somehow. Satisfying fleshy mm -hmm. squidge. Yep. And uh... <laughs> I don't know that I have anything else I can really do, so... <laughs> I mean, you could calm them, right, and say, you know, Marco, Yeah, that's Polo. Cool. I'm, do I'm doing that. <laughs> One behind me, back on the upper floor. Mm. And then I'll in return. Okay. And weird. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you sure nothing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Um, do I fly up or finish this? How are they looking? I, I mean, the thing you're looking at doesn't look that bad, but it doesn't look that good in the first place, right? So, yeah. it's, you know, hard to say, really. You've definitely, like, uh, smacked its head a couple of times against the wall, significantly, so. I'm just going to fly directly upwards. Right, okay, so... We're gonna, we're gonna call that something like TED movement, probably, right? Yeah. Um, and I'll do that. Let me just work out whence the fuck you are now. Um, let me find a point of reference. Right, so if this is the top of the stairs, middle of the stairs, you are 10 out from that. Let me grab you and move. So, you phase up into what looks like this medical lab. And oh. Yep. So, uh, let me just... I didn't phase that way. You what, sorry? I just immediately phased that 
Um, you need to give me a second uh, so I can yeah. catch up. Um, right. I do not want this. Uh, let's see. There was what? Oh, that's the wrong thing I'm clicking. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, click this and add a turn for that. Uh, and then roll. Whip them. Woofed. Alright, so I'll chuck that up at the top as well. Um, and I'll colour code that one as well because it's a special point. And free attack on you. Wabam. Oh, I actually hit you this time. Oh, we got me. Got me. I actually got you this time. Give me a good old slap. I don't like this. And then this next one gets to jump in. And did, does it stop movement if you get hit? That is a thing that's probably important now. Um, I'll do my second attack. That hits as well. 17. Uh, I really don't like no. And another amazing initiative roll. I think I'm almost at the point where I should just delete them and just have that be their one turn. Yep. There's just one of them that's on the wrong turn, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to delete them and just mark the other one that doesn't have that turn with a special pip. Okay. Let's re-pip all this nonsense. Cool. I have re-pipped that. Uh, right, so that's happened. And you wanted to keep moving? Yep. Okay, so... Uh, I assume that was their reaction to hit me when they stood up. Uh, yes, it is. It's, yeah. the, it's basically like a held action type thing. Yep. Like a prep thing. Um, basically... Yeah, it's not, yeah, not going to get sorted. I'm going to run away from them. Uh, so you're going to phase there and realise you... How much movement do you have? I've got five feet left. Cool, so you get there, but you're going to need to squeeze into one side because you're like there's a railing phased halfway through you. Can I just hover above it? Uh, can you? How tall are you? Doesn't say anything for the attacks of opportunity, ah, so I'm assuming it doesn't. Uh, say that again, sorry, Nico? It doesn't mention anything about, like, stop movement or anything like that. Okay, cool, that's fine. So I, did, I think we were good for that anyway, yeah. It stops movement if it kills you. Yeah. yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might, like, maybe the momentum carries yeah. the body. Yeah, I was about to say, and, I um, could maybe get like an argument for like a five feet like push, you know, like maybe like a flop in a direction. Uh, yeah, I'll give I'll give you just the ability to hover above it because fuck yeah. that other nonsense. Um, that's fine. Uh, is that you, buddy? Yeah. Cool. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> this thing in the room with you. Is gonna mind thrust. Uh, We're done. Nice. We'll save. Right, nine damages, buddy. Oof. Nine, nine damages. Do not like this. Oh, is this actually going onto your health now? Not yet. Oof. But I took the rest of my stamina exactly. Oof. And then. That wee thing is then going to uh, just essentially try to leg it, quite frankly. Oh, bollocks. Apparently it... Okay. What's up? It costs uh, double movement to ascend. Well, you're there now. Too late. Yeah. Like, now we know. We should know this. You should know your fucking character. <laughs> I just assumed that fly speed was fly speed, as it is in fly yeah. Right? Rather than having... There's a whole lot of rules. Don't be daft. That. Don't be daft. This is Starfinder. Sorry. Why it wouldn't you... Five feet of movement to uh, turn 45 degrees as well. Of course. Why wouldn't it? 45 degrees equals five feet. Because if you take five off of 50, you have 45. So, uh, I didn't even want to see which direction that grey ran in. I know, right? It's it's, it's gone. It's it's, it's ran yeah. like for your point of view, it's ran to the right. Um, okay. uh, Stage right or <laughs> sure? <laughs> I guess so. I, I always deal with the like the monitor. Um, yep. Ah. And uh, for Nico's benefit, jumps in. 
Uh, we're bam. We're bam. And we're bam. Right, we'll save it up, buddy. Nice. Five damage. <laughs> Five. I I run down for damage. I don't. I assume you're supposed to in the system, but yeah. Uh, right, it's gonna uh, jump away again. So do you want to try and do a wee cheeky attack of opportunity, or in fact, can you if you don't have a melee? Uh, I've got my hands. Yeah, go for it. Do you want to roll a d100? We'll see if it matters. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yep, does. Oh yes, I don't even think I need to check the sheet for that. I think that's going to hit quite frankly. Yup, yup, yup. That's pretty fucking lethal. Um, again, don't be hit by a, a visk. This wee thing pops in, mind blast you, like tries to pop out, and you just go, ah! <laughs> Claw at it. Um, right. Uh, who's, who's fucking turn is it now? Right, so it's all the boys. The boys. All the boys. Uh, right. Where can they even go? Uh, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then that gets you technically to there. Ignore its movement path. It's just it moving between maps. Right. And it's gonna have a go at what's his face? Weird. Uh, what about? Nope. Nope. Not hitting yet. Uh, and then up to there, and then okay, not terrible, but not great. And then up to there, and then there we are. So, uh, what was that? I can get to there. And let you fix that door so that door is broken now. There we go. Did that go through the wall or down the ladders? Through the wall. Through the wall. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's three of them. That's fine. And Zora. Um. I could just start like playing bullet like shot with constellation blast and just firing th through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels like that kind of session, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not going to. I'll just try to get this open. In fact, actually, this guy's just an irritant. I'm going to look at this room. Like, what's this? Is there anything going on in this room? Does this console look important? Does it have captain's quarters? Like, I know that's a lot of questions. But. It looks like it is uh, somebody hoping to find at least a place to work that's somewhat private, right? Um, but obviously there's a ladder up and down, so it's not exactly private. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, you know, is somebody doing their best to try and make an office somewhere? Uh, check the console. Uh, like, is that like... I don't know, it's probably going to be a long shot if it's like logged or whatever. Is there a way to like, check out like a crew member's like, logs or something? So I'm going to sit at the desk and see if you can work the computer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if this guy just keeps on coming in, man, I'll just fucking shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> like, busy, busy reading emails here, bang. Um, but yeah, so you sit there, um, yeah, you go to interface with the computer and it's obviously locked, right? It's password locked. So do you wanna do you wanna try do you, do you wanna try guessing the password? I'll I'll look up it and see if there's like any telltale signs. Alright, do you wanna use do you wanna use your action, right, to roll investigate? And this will be your action yeah. on this turn and we'll see if we get any clues. Yeah, well it's investigate, what's that? 
have no idea. <laughs> is that even a skill in this game? I don't think it is. It's not a... No, you're looking for culture, I think. Gold. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's perception, and if it's not... Intimidate. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good roll, right? It's a pretty good roll. Yeah. So yeah, you've got, like, you know... A rough idea of what you you would at least guess in, right? And you, but we'll find out next time to see what what happens with that, right? Okay. Um, obviously, make sure your achievement mat matters. Um, uh, uh, it's just still free free, so I'll, I'll type it. Okay, and then this thing follows you, so that's fifteen uh, to there, twenty. 30 to there. Oh, this guy. This thing shambles up. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Occupied. Like <laughs> oh, a. Um, so that thing you shot is carpet away, obviously. What is this? There is something around the corner. Yeah, you. Probably shouldn't be able to see it, but yeah, they definitely can probably see like it's fucking toes or some shit. Yeah, but there's definitely um, something around the corner. What have we done? The me thing. Ah, fuck off. Right. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, you can I can I roll perception to see if I see it? How about that? Yeah. Uh, do you have any passive perception? Is that a thing? I don't think that exists in this. Um, I mean, I feel like if you move the square forward, you could probably see it, right? But like, you can see the token, so I don't mind if you do that. But it's obviously gonna have cover. Just because it does seem like I, I have no idea what I'm looking at, so I don't think like uh, I don't know. Mm. Can't see him just opening fire on that because I think it's a zombie, but I honestly don't know. Mm. Um. So. Uh. You this is why I love dynamic doing? lighting, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is a perfect example of why I think dynamic lighting is important in a game. Obviously, he hasn't noticed it. I mean, there's an argument to saying that you were focused on the fact that there's a grey, right? That's went, like, somewhere yeah. that way. Well, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll try and open this door. I take it it's also a buttony one. Yeah. Same comp panel. Same. Uh, locked. Well, I think, eh, I managed to hotwire the previous yeah. one. And I'll try and engineer Uh, uh, is that your roll? Sorry, is that the new one? Yeah, cool. Twenty-six. Uh, yeah, you get it, buddy. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Where is that layer? Honestly, gaming butlers, where are you? I'll just move that door into space. Where bam? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was where I hoped I was going to be. I know it's almost like you feel like you've won a prize, don't you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use some of my movement, I think like 15 feet, to get to here. Oh no, shit, I didn't see that. Well, I'm so blind. <laughs> I'm so blind. <laughs> okay, I take it that was my action to open uh -huh. it. Yeah, to hotwire it. Yeah. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to point the gun at it and... Uh, Hope. It, look, say, it looks as shocked as you are. You know what? I'm going to say something remotely. You, you know what? He's, I think he's kind of scrambling for recover to recover because he didn't expect yeah. to something there. Um, um, so, yeah, he's like, uh, I. Uh, surrender? <laughs> and uh, my turn's over. Yep. Uh, weird. Uh, um, <laughs> who's got eyes on the grey? I have eyes on the grey. In character? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. One. One in the bridge. Bridge, bridge, bridge. <clears throat> Where's the bridge in this place? <laughs> <laughs> you have to spacewalk to get to it, but that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> uh, I think that's a 
pretty good excuse for me not noticing the zombie now as well. Mm. That was funny. I'm not gonna lie. That was perfectly fitting. <laughs> oh dear. It's so it's so dumb. Okay, so I am going to uh and remember that you, there's a a dude engaged with you, just from the underneath. I don't like it. No. Which direction does this thing run? Run oh, that way. Yeah, he it ran that way. Yeah, like away from like I guess cool. where you could assume that like old shot came from. Then I will move ten feet that way, please. Oh, good. Okay, I'll pop you in. Where them? Okay, I remember this room. And I'll do my attack. Where them? From the guy that was beneath you. Did that work? It did work, but it didn't hit. That's fine. Yep. And then I will fly to the other end of this room. Okay. And uh. 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 That's probably my turn, I think. Yeah. Uh. In fact, that door is locked, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that'll be closed, right? So, can I close this door? Lock that door remotely. I can you lock that one? Is that door broken? That should be fine. Yeah. So let me two wee seconds. Let me go and make. I'm so glad I didn't delete doors now. I just moved them. Yep. Um, but. Spawned. bam. Perfect. I'm glad that worked because that means I've drew the doors right on this fucking map. Um. <laughs> Shut the door. Yep. Cool. I uh, love <laughs> you're just like, and privacy. Uh, right, you wanted it locked, yeah? Yeah. Uh, can you roll computers? Uh, just so we've got like a vague idea of. Uh, there we go, perfect. I knew it was going to be a high number. It. Yeah. I don't think a zombie can be at 38. I mean, it depends. They're, they're hacking tactic, right? Because, <laughs> you know, maybe some doors auto open automatically for some of these folks, right? Oh. So there's that. Um, right, and okay, <laughs> a column. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're bam, and we're bam, and you don't have any concealments. So I don't need to roll any fucking additional dice to no, see if it actually don't. hits. Does it hit? Does it hit? Does it hit? Basically. Main <laughs> <laughs> thrust. Saves. Well, oh, seven damage you can take. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm in seventy stam. And right, we're gonna have <coughs> this thing jumping in for you. We're bam, and then uh, we're bam. That's against you, weird. Okay. I didn't click. There we go. I don't like that. No, it's just get there. It's tasty. Well. <laughs> oh. That's not good. I am I am feeling pretty good about their choices of switching from their needlers, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I am going to Right, okay. Uh, why that go ahead. Why uh, What's uh, up? I don't know why that's got a DC associated with it. That <laughs> should never I mean, like, I don't know, like, do, can you reflex save into your nanites that you apparently spray? <laughs> That's so dumb. Save off. And there you go. Okay. Yeah, so I'll use my reaction to spend a resolve point. Nice. Never done. Look at you, spending resolve points. I have two levels, why not? Just for the yeah. rarity. <laughs> um, and then it's gonna boost. Uh, okay. How much damage? 14. Don't like it. It's going to boost back through the wall. Which way do you go, sorry? Back it's that way. Just back through the wall, yeah. That way? But, yeah, aye. Aye. The buggers that they are. I like to imagine it just leans in, touches its head, and then leans back out. Um, I've played XCOM like that. <laughs> and then we've got. Other boils. Where even are they just now? Okay. Right, I've got them. So, uh, that one, go here, and then try a kathump. 
Oof, yeah. So, one of the doors to this place is an angry boy. And I think, please tell me that only highlighted door. Oh, bam. That door gets broken. Do not like. No. And how much movement has it used? It has used. Let me just measure that. A bit, bit, a bit. Okay. So it can get in the room. Uh, it can go there, is the most it can do on this turn. It's dripping red foam everywhere. Um, and then. This one moves down here and up here mm -hmm. and has a go at Colin. My surprise to my immense surprise. surprise. KAC 21. No. Yeah, I figured as much. Um, <laughs> I don't even need to check for that one. Mm. Yeah, mine's, mine's 29, so no. And then this other one is going to go Cablamo. Yeah! So, Nico, the door uh, next to you starts rattling. Okay, I stop Where it. Egg is broken. I stop it. And this thing just walks in. Okay, nuclear time. <laughs> 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 um, that's them, and it's Zora's go. Uh, Man, you can can never see why Babak was like. Do you supposed to go check out the key for Larry? To be fair, if he knew the Greys were involved, then he would have to have some sort of inside line on the Greys. He would 100% come here if he knew the Greys were involved, let's face it. Who wouldn't not, want to make their career on that? I can't, because I'm bad at on. I can uh, blah, 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 like one of the zombies cr climbs up a ladder and smashes the door down, climbs in, and you're just like, uh, one minute. Just one more, please. Uh, yeah, I've got a Salvation! Blast! <laughs> <laughs> Zara, did you evolve too? No, oh, uh, yeah. blast. That's just a normal That's zero. Mm. Click. Right. So, I'm gonna. Try and jiggle the foot of this so that I, right, so I'll put it at like this intersection here, and then if I if if I got a line drawn, I'll like I'll wait, yeah, actually show you lines. Let me see. Yeah, this it's, it's ruler. you could just paint if you wanted as well, though. But yeah, you could use the ruler snap the corners. Right, so I'll have one here, right? Right. Uh, like sound around here, so it'd be like. Uh, Right. And then I th think this should still be like 15 feet, yet, yeah, because if it was a draw straight line, it would yeah. still be 15 feet, right? So then I. Got it. Mm. I'm going to have it here. It's going to hit a console. Everyone's going to hit a console. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to hit a console. <laughs> go away, go away, Jankus. Oh! Oh, I know what I can do. No, I think they're all gonna hit, yeah. They're all gonna, like, yeah, it's a very small room you're in. <laughs> oh, well then. <laughs> it just goes nuclear. <laughs> Can you Constellation Blast fully tuned uh, as Graviton? Yes, uh, cool. it's it's the Supernova I can't. Ah, okay, cool. Supernova I can't do it. That's why I can't go nuclear. I have to use Constellation Blast. I can't use that anyway, so... Let's just... Mm, fuck it. It's just that. Uh, punch them. Okay, so we're not using the design of the revelation, we're just gonna use. Uh, destruction and death. Okay, so are you gonna attack the guy next to you or. Yeah, um. I can't forget to attack opportunity, that's just why I maul him as fast as possible. Uh -huh. Back now, we'll just natural worms them. Yeah, natural those worms. are pretty good, right? So, I've done anything yet? I've done anything yet? I'll full attack. <laughs> full attack from a fucking seat. <laughs> so dumb. Uh, um, oh, what's this against, Casey? Casey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you fall? 
Yeah, yeah. It's a shame as well because it was like by one. Yeah. Uh, how long does your um, concealment last? Until I leave Graviton. Okay. Cool. Uh, or one round. Or one round if I'm not in Graviton. Right. But you're still in Graviton, so. Uh, right. So. This is the. Uh, this is the one that's in the room. So it goes wha bam, and then attacks you. Just, oh, yeah, it's not gonna hit. It. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, it's definitely not gonna hit much. Uh, Lyco. Lyco. I caught between a grey and a dead place. Yeah, but um, I'll just keep not working. Uh, I'm gonna trick attack <laughs> the zomborge. Right. Um, with my own blades. Ooh. So I will <sighs> sense motif. The plus four. Okay. So it's twenty-seven. Uh, twenty-seven. 20 plus challenge rating. All right. Okay. So twenty plus challenge rating, and you got twenty-four. Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, well, I can still hit the potential. Though. Yeah. I probably don't though. You don't. You don't. It's maybe just the 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 sure surprise of it, right? Yeah, I think he's gonna. I was distracted. He's caught me off guard. Mm. The, not my best work, but I think the circumstances are to blame mm -hmm. more than anything. Uh, yeah. Turn this over. Weird. <sighs> yes, I would like to oh, excuse me. head that way, please, and squeeze into the corridor. Uh, you actually don't even need to squeeze if you go that way. So oh, nice. I'll move yeah, you uh, all of your feet that way, however many that costs. Uh, that would have been yeah, it's fifteen feet. Well, was I can't see you now. Aye, let's say fifteen. I think it was. Where the fuck is that grey? <laughs> Isn't that just the session tail? Anyone got eyes on the grey? Uh, uh there's there's the one here. You better try. Uh, Biker? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, still one here. I don't That's know what's going on exactly where I am at the moment, but I'm probably trying to dodge at least something. Well, I yeah. Think. Some horrible red foamy bleedy arm thing, yeah. Another move. Oh, try that. <laughs> Door. I thought I'd open that door. You'd like to open the door, yeah? Yeah, I had unlocked that one before, hadn't I? No, because we had that conversation earlier. Oh, okay. It was the one across from it. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've yeah, hovered through this one. Oh, then I don't need to bother unlocking this one. Yeah. I just zip through it. Yeah, so I'll move you into like a legal space. So you're yeah. kind of standing on ladders, so I guess you're kind of squeezing, unless you just go there instead. Yeah, I'll just go there. Yeah. Uh, Lyco, which side of the ship are you on? Um, front left. Left. I can't remember starboard before, so. Uh, okay. It's front, like it's yes. basically four port, right? I think. Uh, four whales. Four port. Whales is left, so. uh, I always just imagine it. There's two R's in starport, so. Like starboard, sorry. So um, you, that means definitely right. <laughs> starboard, right, and port left. So I probably said port then. Yeah, and four and aft. So it's four. Yeah. Or the bow, but like nobody ever really says the bow. Bow and stern. Yeah. Oh, so port four. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually I never thought the Greys as a backup would be this much fun after our little kerfuffle with the sleep stuff. Um 
but the hide and seek games have been hilarious when they've had to adapt to their tactics. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's it's been a profoundly silly session, but I am thoroughly enjoying it. It feels like this is the tactics the Greys would have, because you're basically kiting the zombies through the ship, because they're yeah. not like if you could just stay ahead of them, they're not that big a deal. But you know, one one did follow the like um just just follow Zora as best it could, right? It's like oh, this slowly yeah. had to maneuver like because obviously it couldn't go through the portal, it had to then just wander. You can up. dodge a zombie, you can dodge a ball. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like top or bottom uh, deck, like a. I mean. It's a very verse question. I went up and then down, didn't I? <laughs> the staircase was down. Um, you, you have went up to get to Zora, and you have stayed up. Stayed up. Uh, so up. Yeah, I didn't use the staircase. And weird, you are up. Yeah, but I'm gonna drop down now, please, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> Do you have enough remaining movement for descent? I'm going to use my action. My standard action is move. Cool. There we go. I don't have to worry about fall damage for whatever bullshit that even involves if you can take fall damage. Fucking bullshit. I'm <laughs> uh, Right, oh, I think okay. you fall down oh. here. Yes. I <laughs> fucking hell. And then I will head. So if that'll be 10 down. So I've still got 20. Uh, Wouldn't it be 20 down if you're descending? Uh, it was only for ascending. Really? So, so descending's faster? That's, well, yeah, because you're not fighting gravity. Yeah, yeah it's just it's weird, it's though. It's, it's just weird. Yeah. Pathfinders. Actually, uh, Starfinders are fucking weird. Uh, if you want to ascend, yes. Only says ascend. Can yep. I suggest you tell a Save your the feet, Sky Jockey. Help me. What does that do? Just an extra ten feet for like flying items. And oh movement. man, yeah, I might need to get that. That's what I've got. I got that last. Two, feet. Three, four. This door is buggered, is it, Ryan? Uh, that is the the one Lego shot the control panel of. Okay, excellent. Well, I will prop myself up here. Get okay. and go. <sighs> Yeah, like take a wee minute. Is that over comms then, I guess, still? Yeah, it will be if it's open comms. Or just yeah. I think uh, you hear Isabel go. Weird. Still with us? Unfortunately. Huh. Sit, sit rep. So, I mean, there's zombies and aliens. And. We can't catch one when the other one's trying to catch us. It's a bit farcical. I mean, I am, I'm, I'm literally just here in, in the shuttle. Do you still... Is it best I stay put and guard this, or...? Yeah, you've got protected from the zombies. And the aliens? Special um, aliens. Okay. Just see her, like, you know, aiming her gun at the door of the, like, the, the back end of the shuttle, propped up behind a couch. Just there, waiting. Uh, right, that you, buddy? Yeah, that's me. Okay, okay. Um, so you are. Let me just move the map so everybody can see. You are now there downstairs. Where about? Cool. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. The hell am I doing now? Because it is right. This will be the last turn, right? I think that feels right for tonight. Uh, so, uh, Lyco, we'll start with you, buddy. Yes. And uh, we are gonna go for a. Uh, the. Cray looks at you, and it does this. Uh, okay. Right. 
and it just cocks its head at you. Um, and then it loads something into its needler gun. Oh. <laughs> 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 about to get, like, life injected. Um, That'd be fine for me. It's, it's maybe not that, it's maybe just, what are these things notorious for, right? So, yeah. Did we get probed? And then... Man, what, what have we got? What else can this thing do? Um, let's see... Nope. And... I cannot even do the... Nope. So, yep, that's fine. Then it's the big boys. So, Zora, this is against you. Okay. Miss. And then Lyco, this is against you. Oh. Yay. Oh god, no, not you. That actually hurts. So I am down to 54 stamp. Oof. It's almost like it doesn't really matter yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not getting super threatening yet. But, you know, he's probably starting to at least have it. I mean, that's probably why it wanted to actually detect reflection, because, you know, his makeup's probably started to get a bit smudgy by now. Uh, okay. Alright, so that is going to go. Go to there and can't do anything else. And then it's Zora. Zora, Zora, Zora. I know I've so already started doing turns and I said it was going to last round, so Zora. let's just quickly zip through this round. We'll start right, yeah. it. I, I, I'm just going to keep on walking, then I'm going to try and quickly enter the password. Okay. Start the logs. <laughs> okay, give me a computer roll and we'll see how well this goes. Oh my god. Roll. It's going to need to be a good my computer roll, because keep in mind you're guessing at the password. Oh, it'll be a good computer roll. And by a good computer roll. Uh, that's going to go awful. I, this is a waste of time. <laughs> I've done it now. No. It's a waste of time. Yeah, it didn't yeah. work, buddy. It didn't work. Right. Sorry, sorry so, oh crap. Uh, I, I should be asked because jump on a rubble, right? I mean, yeah, why not? Right. So let's just call it yeah. difficult terrain. <laughs> right, so that'd be like 10 to get rid of yeah. it. Yeah. It's of 10, 15. Right, right so give me a second, because you've moved from oh, three yeah, of yeah, their yeah, threats. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so let's do one, two, Miss. and three. Oh well, that's not bad, didn't it? Only 16. Cool. And... Boop! Done. And then I guess I get to take another one. Uh, so take three. Oh, no. I'll take three. No, no, no you've, done, three. you've done them all, so there you go. You're yeah. done. Yep. And... Uh, right, so I was... 15, 25... But... Uh, screw it, why not? But I'll go for the portal. Okay. 30, 35, and I've got like an extra 5 feet out. What, what are you doing, Nico? Uh, I just threw myself, I'm looking. Nico, stop. Uh, stop, it. stop it, Nico. Put where I'm supposed to be, I'm looking at blackness, I'm looking. It's, uh, you're, you're where you should be. Fucking hell, Nico. Right, okay. And I went to, uh, <laughs> my, my view went jank, and it like flicked away. Well. Hi, weird, by the way. I don't even know where I landed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll just step forward to the last five feet. Uh, okay. okay, cool. Uh, man. Oof. Uh, right, well, your wormholes disappear. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, let me go back to that one. So I'll get rid of that wormhole. To be fair, I don't think anyone else knew it was up. Did you actually see? I don't remember you haven't said. Uh, I, I say it's the one about wormholes. You can use them. I said that the com. Uh, never went in that direction, I don't think. Right, so that would be 5, 15 to there, and then 
15 to there. And then I guess it's just going to move again because why not? We're bam. Bust. Can't do anything though. It just got. It just has to get there. Yes. And yeah. Uh, let go. Let go. So yeah, you definitely feel like, uh, you know, I wouldn't say probed, but almost probed. Okay. Mm. Pseudo probed. Mm -hmm. Um. Dispatch this. Um. I don't want to make a full attack because I'd still be taking the plus, the, the, the four. Mm. Um, that wouldn't be quite as effective. I'm going to make a trick attack again. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to make a trick attack and shoot it. Okay. Because I, I think I can. I don't. I don't get an opportunity attack against this no, shot. No, do I? You don't get uh, opportunity attacks for my move as part of my trick shot. Trick attack. Okay. Okay. Um. So. I want to place myself over here. No. Uh, I mean, if you've done that, you've moved now, right? Move that. That's um, fine. So doesn't that mean I get a free attack against you, buddy? With my, my grey. Gonna try it. Yeah, you do. I'll get the plus four to my AC for that. So it's, you're it's, to it's AC of 33. Um, I can shoot you right with that, though. Right? You should be able to. Yeah. Um, okay. So, just a basic attack. Does a 23 hit your KAC? Uh, it's 29 plus four. So, so no. No. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Maybe it was like, because it was in the middle of reloading, it's like needle gun, and you've like bolted in. It's obviously just pulled the gun up really quickly. And I, I thought I'd still be able to partially see that, but I can see like a tenth of a tenth of a circle nah, here. Nah, you, you definitely... So I, don't, I know I can. Yeah. I just I thought I might still be able to see it. Um, can I change the target of my trick attack? It doesn't say anything about that. But I feel like I probably can't. I mean... Is the moving after you've declared the target? Uh, you can trick a start of a full and then attack and blah, blah, blah. As a full action, move up to your speed. Whether you moved or not, you can then make a trick attack with a melee weapon or an operative. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you didn't say. Yeah, it's just use it again. Okay, so yeah, I've, I've, the movement part doesn't necessarily seem to have anything to do with the target so I guess I'm fine it's weird you because technically you I don't th like you could see both of them right you could see both of them when you started this right but see because it's a full action you probably would need to declare it was one or the other right okay because well, let's face it, so put, it put, put it this way if you moved and um, it's because it's part of full action if it was different if it was separate but and I don't mind you taking it against the grey in this situation because you could see the grey at the same time before you moved, right? I don't mind you having a go at the grey just now, but in future, when you do your full action, it can only be legal targets to start that. Yeah. yeah. So it means if you moved away out of sight, you can't hit him, but I don't mind if you do it against the, the grey. No, that's, that makes sense. Right. Uh, I will. Do I want to? Let's see. Shooting would still provoke an attack from. Him, hey, he's done his reaction. Do yeah, no. I was gonna say he's done his reaction. So I can just. <laughs> Why would I? Because it does less damage. It looked cooler, but mm. I'm just going to flip at him with the blade in the way. So I'm going to make a sense motive check. I'm going to refer to it as sense motive and not sleight of hand, as I did in the last. That's time. fine. Uh, last time. And that's uh, 29. Yeah. Uh, cool. And I want one normal attack with me bony bladies. Cool. Give me a D100. Order is permanently in the way of this. Why doesn't the turn order go to the background? That's where it used to. 
42. Uh, okay, so that definitely hits. Because uh, KAC. Humble 12. Yeah, you, you definitely you definitely see it take 12 damage. It's not happy. Uh, right. And weird that you catch your breath downstairs. Excellent. I will then move 10 feet through the wall. Okay. That way. I will pop you. Bam. And again. I will. So you can't technically oh. stay where I'm going to move you, right? Um, but I'm going to pop you there anyway. And you're going to have to decide what you do. Yeah. Bam. So we're in motion. Oh. Hi. Uh, Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So we're in. So you can move back to where you were and take a an attack of op, or you can move behind it and take attack of op. What would you like? Or you can uh, move. Cool. You could move into that room you were in before, the one above you. Uh. But, or or zombies in there. Okay, so we'll move you behind it then, right? And I'll yeah. I'll do my. How dare you move past me? A uh, attack. Which is what bam. Nah, doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh and then <laughs> Fucking phasing. I love it. It's so bad, isn't it? How are you doing down here, Captain? Um fine, I found a console follow up. Let's try to get access, see if I can find any info, but then this guy showed up. Do you know how to get more? Nah, that should be good. Okay. Uh, you should go take a look at the consoles, there's an odd zombie up there. Oh, the zombie's like, do you use mind? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, shut up. Do you mean upstairs? <laughs> he does. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah, fill a recorder up the ladders. Uh, it's quite a tight fit. But, but you know, big lad. But, should be good. I will go to here, please, Ryan. Okay, cool. We're bam. I'll just move you that extra bit. Like right away. <laughs> and then the shout up. Lyco, you up this ladder? Day, there is no reply. <sighs> Life signs detectors is what you need. Yes. So my map work gets more complex. He should have locked some doors on either side of me. Yeah, there is. Okay. <laughs> I love how you're, you're at that point where you're like, I probably don't want to open any of them though because of how my luck has gone so far. I'll open the one in front of me. Uh, cool. Do you want to give me a, a roll? Uh, I can't. Them? I use my action to move. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. It, it just goes, like, maybe you try it with your mind and it goes, mm -mm. Yep, yep. Yeah, so. Right. Here we are. No. Fucking hell. Uh, okay, like oh, we're bam. <laughs> That's nothing. Let me see if see if nothing anyway. Can you see that? Oh, he did one HP. Oh, one damage. It's one. You're dead. Right. <laughs> one mind damage, and let me see. Let that's me see. like a that's that's like a mild twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, can you roll a d100 for me? And we'll see if your op attack matters. Yeah, sure. Ah, fuck off! Sorry. Sick. I swear this used to not get in the road. It doesn't matter. Cool. So the thing just phases through the floor. Son of a bitch. It was going to do that anyway, obviously. I just wanted to see if we had to go through the motions for you. Um, but yeah, like, you probably do like swipe for it, right? Um, and it, you know. That's his face. Vanashes. So, cool. You can roll your attack if you wanted to see how well you would have. Yes, yeah, fine. It's fine. Uh, Nothing to swipe at. And, uh, Right, where else have I got to deal with the... Okay, dokie. 
Um, okay. I think that's that. And I think that, so I don't get carried away now, is where we'll leave it, because we've definitely done more than I expected. Um, let's move us back to this page. So uh, yeah, yeah guys, the key, for, the key for Larry. The key for Larry. What do you want to call this one? Because uh, my, my suggestion, uh, what I typed up earlier was 50 phases of grey. <laughs> and I'm just going to vote for it now because it's fucking hilarious. Uh, uh, hmm. Um. <laughs> what he's got? Did Tom the Long War? No. Like the long war. Oh, I know. Long, long no. It's good. It's clever, Ryan. It's all right. It, I'm not gonna lie. It's, 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 it's gonna be the name of my podcast until I get sued into oblivion. Um. <laughs> I see. So you just want me sued instead? I hear you. <laughs> um, we're shield. Mm. We're liability. <laughs> <laughs> Any thoughts there? Weird or a bizarre? Ah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> if, if only it, if it were the other kind, absolutely. Uh, um, yeah. Is that you wanted oh. to be pronounced Ike and Seek? I, I can see. <laughs> Roswell the end well. Oh, I don't know the end well. But <laughs> Although there, was, there was really no ending. Yeah, I was going to say uh, that. I, like, that's, I was going to say, yeah, that should be next one, right? Um, I don't know if I can handle Ike. I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> it's good. It's it is good. Um, yeah. Obviously, it's just a phase. Seems too easy as well. So I never put that in. Um, the area. <laughs> I like it. Gray area. I like that a lot. Like that. Gray area. <laughs> and I did have a flying android. Also good. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Fucking Jason Gray's a bit of special <laughs> zombies all like try and nibble at his one. I mean, to be fair, like it, it's better than what Zig's up to, right? Mm. I've been loving it. Mm. We've got to, like probably <laughs> achieve nothing other than like maybe I'd be better than letting that layout of the ship and mm -hmm. then. But it's been hilarious. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts for names? Because I don't see votes. So what are we going for? I don't know, I'm going to be self-imposed and then go for the yeah. area. And I voted for mine, so don't worry about it. I think we'll get two oh. for you, buddy. Uh, oh. And I'm too busy trying to work out the fun ones. Uh... Yeah, grey area. Yeah, cool. I'll go for it. Grey area. Um, there we go. And pop that into our tracker. We got grey area. Um, I love that last one was just called help? Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dear gods. Um, I know that chapter 11 is definitely shaping up to be missing intelligence elsewhere. It's about time this far, no further. Uh, help in grey area. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> chapter 11. Um, right, okay. So, uh, goals. Uh, discover what happened to the crew of the Kivalari. Uh, I was trying. Ongoing, then yep. I got rudely interrupted. So, ongoing and want to continue? Ongoing, want to continue. Cool. Uh, catch a grey and take it back to the ship. Ongoing. Want to continue? Yep. Mm -hmm. A salvage the ship or a significant part. Again, ongoing. Do you want to continue? Mm. Yep. A and obviously, I'm going to just assume you want to do goal four. The whole reason you are here. Yeah. 
yeah, which is to yeah, get, the, get the stewardship and tell the crew of corpses back to Babak. We're making we're making some good progress. We've we've added the number of corpses. Um, yeah. <laughs> we've explored more of the shoe. The shoe. The shoe. Uh, the luck shoe. Luckily. Shit. Well, the shit. And luckily, most of the corpses are at least gathering themselves up for you. Yes. They're handy. Just kite also, them back to further. I am um, now like I'm I'm I'm, in, I'm at the control, right? You know, that's going to be a good place to get information, presumably. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to stand up and death kill the the zombies because they're getting in the way. <laughs> Look, now they're getting in the way. Before they were just a mild inconvenience. I mean, they kind of off. I mean, no fault, weird, obviously, but I mean. I mean, early on, one just like fucking crit forty athletics checked a door. That so was impressive. yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, I love how it was off camera, so we just hear wrenching noises of a door getting mashed. Um, okay, and obviously, goal five is a just no man's land of text. Jeopardy. So yeah, we just we'll just leave that until the timeline so fixes I'm, that. Don't know who's responsible for that. Nope. Um, good. Right. Um, yeah, I'm loving what happened in that session. I'm not gonna lie. That was. Really fucking funny. A bit rose clunk at the start with discovering that apparently these things just cannot put you guys to sleep. But that probably made the fight more interesting. Um, ultimately. So that was probably good. Uh, but yes, let's just start with uh, Weird, shall we? Uh, I really enjoyed when we discussed rules and uh, <laughs> how Paizo organised their books mm -hmm. and how their flying speed doesn't mean flying speed. Yeah, because uh, ascension's yeah. different, obviously. Yeah, but, so yeah, there's a... Uh, Christ, this, this system, man. Like, Fivey did something quite good in that front, which is if you're trying to climb, and you don't have a climb speed, it's double movement, as long as you can actually hold on to something, and if if, if you've got a climb speed, you just move that. It's and so much easier. Rope, it's just movement as well, isn't it? It's just a climb speed, right? Like it, it just works. And if it is a rope, you need to climb that. So it'll be half movement if you don't have a climb speed. Um, yeah. Like it's reasonable, right? Um, it is easy. Whereas this, I've got, I've got a flying speed of thirty feet with perfect maneuverability. Whereas I could have had a fly speed of fifty feet with average maneuverability. And yeah. that makes big changes to some rules that I'm not interested in learning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah like the, I'm starting to reply them on the Starfinder. Side boxes. Uh. I mean, the thing is about Starfinder as well. There's a lot of um, the characters you can build are way more yeah. interesting than D&D. &D. Oh yes, like fifth edition really struggles with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you end up with complex, fucking homebrew rule, like sheets that you need to keep I track of. A lot of the versatility in this is purely crunchy, though. Yeah, like well, let's face it. Neither this nor Five E cares about. Narrative support, so yeah. So all the customization in this is either to ignore rules that you don't like, yep. or to have you engage with the rules. That I mean, there's some feats and things I've taken that I don't think have come up till yet mm. because there's so many edge cases and things. Mm -hmm. And then you don't remember that you got them until later. And there's uh, no harm in telling me if there's things that come up that you took because you wanted the benefit of it. If I'm not engaging with something like that, please let me yeah. know so I can like let you know if that would have ever come up. Right, mm. um, so don't worry about that. Like, if you have stuff like that, please let me know, because I am yeah. that player as well. If I've taken stuff and it never comes up, I'm like, well, I did this and this was pointless because this isn't the game you were running. So, I mean, for a lot of those, it's just the like their own combat abilities and things. Mm -hmm. Like, I know I've been running around with a half an arsenal that I'm never going to use. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to get rid of it. I like having it. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah. I mean, I think you're doing okay as somebody who can fly, survive in space, and um, you know, face through things. walls. Like, I think that's okay, right? I have kind of glitched the system. Um, uh, yeah, it does feel like weird. As kind of after his meetings with the god, he's found the the source code. Yeah, and uh, he has become the one. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, yeah, I think my favorite part. In, <laughs> yeah, I think my favorite part in that session was just the oh, I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just move out of here and like, having enough uh, AC it's like it's better actually to take the hit mm -hmm. to stay here and let them take a full attack yeah like you definitely did good in the, the tanky front but it is funny that the hacker is the one least needing to open doors 
Yeah. Like, like I love that Lyco is like chasing behind you and having to fucking hotwire doors to open I mean, them. At the very least, it means he can, you know, waste his time hacking more important things. And when I say waste his time, I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I don't know why I said waste. I apologize. So can you now imagine had you brought CC with you? Oh god. Uh, <laughs> Is it the Grace would just have taken him, or he'd have taken a Grey? Oh, then the other hand, it may have been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, do you know what? That's actually the best way this could have worked out, because he'll be their problem. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, but no, I actually, I'm surprised I enjoyed uh, not being able to see what the fuck was going on and trying to work out for each other. Wait, <laughs> Honestly, uh, it's why dynamic lighting is totally worth it, right? It is one hundred percent. Like, see if you've watched the session back; it doesn't have the same effect as what you've had from your perspective, because oh, yeah. my view for Tales of Triumph has every these viewpoints, so you can see when people were like just through the wall from each other, um, which is quite interesting. So, for me, it was quite fun to watch you maneuver around the ship because the map was complex enough to be interesting. I think. Um, I could see one well, point like Lyco was, and I'll say the one well, I could see his arrows when he was measuring his character. Yeah, that's something that I can't avoid, sadly, unless everybody switches to head and arrows, which I, I just don't feel like he's need that because I feel like he's are adult enough to not meta. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. so. And I, don't think, I mean, I, even if I could have met, I had no chance to even get him. I was in that mm -hmm. office, and then mm -hmm. zombies busted their own. <laughs> and I was like, okay, hi guys, bye guys. Uh, anything else to add, Alex? Well, uh, no, that's everything for me. Not good. I'm glad you enjoyed the ridiculous bump through the Kivalari. I'm not going to lie. It was um, definitely fun for me. Um, it would have been so much more frustrating without the, uh, <laughs> the zipping through stuff. Yeah. Just, just from having to squeeze in the corridors. It's it's just because you've got large armour. Like, honestly, I feel like we definitely need to get you a button that either contracts it or uh, gives you... Like, you definitely need something, right? You need, like, an Iron Man way to call stuff to you. That's what you need and that armor obviously can phase through and just wrap around your, whatever you're wearing at the time. We need to work That's on terrible. that. Yeah. So, <laughs> come to me hugging armor. Is it just this big mech walks towards you and just picks you up and just hugs you into it? <laughs> so, we'll work on that, don't worry. Um, just to make corridors easier for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, I. Like, oh, I'll just go to the list, why not? Uh, yeah, that was, I mean, there's not exactly a lot of lore stuff or character stuff so much this time. It was a lot more trying to shoot stuff and getting mind thrusted. Mm. Um, but I have been enjoying the combat. I think we've gotten a lot quicker with it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's just because we were spamming, like, a full attacks. We did that last session, yeah, and that yeah. definitely and sped I'm things up. <laughs> ah, actually, trick attack is often better. Yes. I don't think it's invariably better, but it's often better. Uh, oh, sorry. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's it's definitely it's definitely got a bit slicker, a bit, a bit more finesse. Um, so that's nice. It's nice getting a feeling of, of not just having progress in terms of our characters being more powerful, but also in our sort of ability to uh, manoeuvre them. Mm-hmm. You know, we've just gotten a bit better at it, and that's nice. That's rewarding in and of itself. Also, like we're we're in a position where like I'm stuck between two enemies, and not just because I know that they don't have overwhelming amounts of health, but I sort of feel confident enough in what I can do with my character. That I'm like, I can deal with this. I can work with this. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't feel like in some cases when you're an RP and you think guys, I actually need everybody back in this room to help. Yeah, but yeah, it's nice. It wasn't just oh god, oh god. It didn't feel like. I wasn't sort of sweating bullets, you know, and that was nice. We we felt like we could go our own way and sort of explore the ship at our leisure. And mm -hmm. uh, so, sorry, yawning. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that, um, but I'm always tired by the end of the session. No, it's it's um, yeah, more 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 mechanical this session again. Mm -hmm. A good fun. Um, it is it, it's been entertaining if frustrating dealing with the greys. And I think that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um. I like how Lyco's initial thing was, it's a grey. It shouldn't be. Yeah, like, oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> stop right there, criminal scum. And then it just runs through a wall. <laughs> I just wanted to detain one. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I don't think I can, because clearly my <laughs> my uh, thingies uh, wouldn't hold it. Right, manacles aren't going to hold something that walks through walls. I don't know yet, right? 
I don't know if you can knock them out. This is this is one of those times where it would be nice to have some sort of psychic. Yeah, or like a control wizard or something, right? Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, I wonder where where, where that is. Um, so do I, Callum. And Olka, further back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd have been quite interesting. Definitely a different fight if you had your two psychics. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't have as much to say this session because I don't really have too much. In the way yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't a great, on. yeah, there wasn't a great uh, deal of narrative uh, beyond chasing things through ships. It, it, was, it was quite silly. It was quite <laughs> funny. Um, it's not like it's entirely without threat. I'm not saying like, mm -hmm. oh, none of these can touch us. Like clearly, they are pretty <sighs> regularly chipping away. Mm -hmm. It's just that it is chipping away. It's like right, their psychic attack is going to reliably do damage to me, but it's not going to kill me unless I. You know, somehow fuck up and fail to hit a hundred times in a row. No, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's yeah. basically just is it any AOE your reflex safe thing? Is it any half damage? Oh no, it's a reflex, I'd save it. It's, it's only it's reflex. Yeah, they yeah. wouldn't apply to this. Wouldn't apply. We'll save it. Um, yeah, sadly, it doesn't apply to that. It's just for like explosions think, and stuff. I don't think mind affecting effects includes just pure damage, so I don't think I get the. Plus no, because it's not a mind affecting effect. It's literally just an attack that does like, mm -hmm. you know, X damage. Yeah, I looked into that thank, as well. Thank God, it's all so clear. Uh, but no, I assumed it wouldn't. Um, yeah. No, yeah, so it's, it, it's like they've got a reliable way to chip away at me. But I you saw how swingy it is as well, though, right? Like it's super swingy because it's like, I mean. The lowest you could take from that's one, and the yeah. most you could take is twenty. And even with yeah, that, it's these are going to be these are these are strong boys, right? Mm. Like you could t you could take that once or twice, even if they somehow managed to get a twenty on that roll. Yeah. No, it does but feel I'm pretty not. like it feels alright. And it, the zombies are kind of fifty fifty, right? Like they, they either hit or just whiff entirely. They're quite hit and miss, fall off. Um. The zomboys. Yes, it's it's been a a bit of a messier session, mm. but it's good fun. Good yeah, fun. good. Uh, um, I'm glad. Obviously, it's quite fun. entertaining watching. I see watching, not watching, listening, listening <laughs> to weird, just wander through the ship underneath <laughs> by the walls. Um, well, I'm sort of left fucking around with the doors. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he is passing by a lot of things that are waking up and attacking him. So. He's, he's literally doing the thing that would happen to somebody that activates like no clip um, that still happens yeah. to be a person in the room, right? Floating through. And it's like, oh, what to do? Oh my god, I don't want to be here. Like when he went to the med bay. <laughs> yeah. That was so fine. I would just leave. Yep. We're going to need to go to all of these places in the long run anyway, so. <laughs> I'm going to see in the long run, hopefully in the very short run. Just like steps outside ship. It's your business now, boys. <laughs> so good. So dumb, but so good. I'll find another party, thanks. Oh, uh, yep. Bye. <laughs> I'm away with the greys. Bye. <laughs> oh, dear. That's good. Anything uh, so else you want to add, Colin? Uh, no, no. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. No. No. Zara? Uh, I mostly have been covered. I mean, it's, it's just a fun wee combat sesh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't particularly effective. I had fun, just messing with some abilities. I did enjoy your just, I'll just sit here and try the passwords then one second, guys, <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> uh, screw these guys, man. Uh... It's, the thing is, if you was doing the wrong thing, you'd expect you, the, the Vesk to be running through the ship mauling zombies, right? And not yeah. the hacker. And then you, yeah, it feels like you've all kind of like rotated slightly, your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would have been easy, right? I was like, right, here's a computer, maybe I get lucky. I wrote a good roll first, and I was like, right, maybe I get lucky at it, so maybe I did that. So, so the way I worked that out is your perception check to have a go at guessing the password, and then if you rolled like a reasonable success at actually like, getting into the computer, you'd have got in. But no. No, he did a good perception, but not a good enough computer, sadly. So it was a bit. One computer skill. <laughs> Yeah, and it's mostly pointing at a computer and saying, I know what you are. Uh, uh, <laughs> after it's part time. Mm -hmm. it, the password, oh, it's failed, I'm leaving. But, like, this went a lot better than, say, most of Zora's fights, right? I, I mean, I felt a lot thank you, that's mm -hmm. for sure. I was just kind of like, that's why I was just kind of, I'm just going to try the password, just like screw these guys. Plus wormholes, buddy. 
bottom holes and the mm. field is broken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's so good. good. Just like that rule in Paizo world is so good. See the X percentage chance of missing, regardless, is so good. Um, yeah, having it basically on all the time if I just stay gravity on, which does mean I drop a lot of offensive ability. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I'll discuss it after the record, I guess, but, but yeah. like, Aye. It was fun. Yeah, it was good. Fun. Glad you said it was fun. Um, who knows, we might even be graced by Zig's presence next week. Um, Dare we dream of such a thing? No, not yet, because... Let's face it, he'd irradiated half of the ship by now, had he been here. So, there is that. Um, or just exploded all the Grey's mines, right? Possibly. We don't know. Who knows? But yes, thank you everybody for playing. Uh, hopefully we will be on track for next time as usual and we'll see what the fuck happens with uh, Zig. Maybe. Maybe maybe we'll just never know. Um, maybe that's it. Maybe it's Maybelline. So, say goodbye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.